cards. I, I did too. You are live and you are live. Uh, I already got five five people watching. Oh, geez, do you? <laughs> you got to be quick. You got to be on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to go, whose boat are you on? Let me send the link to Daryl. I don't think he's out. No, I know he's not out, but he'll still come up and bug us. Invite guests. Copy. Copy a clipboard. Go back. Steve at Ansom. What's up, Steve? Fishing with Steve Mosley in the house. I got to send this to Daryl real quick. I'll be right back. All right, who else we got? Miss Place Country Fishing Girl, Northern Outdoors, what's up? I'm out here fishing with the, uh, there he is, the man of the hour, John from Catfish Hunters. What's up, Jack? Outdoors. Hey, Lynn. And yeah, we are down in the, oh, we're, as a matter of fact, we're down in the Chester Frost area where the gathering will be held. Yep. We're fishing one of Daryl's spots. Yep, we're gonna go today. We're gonna go through. I'm gonna show John all Daryl's spots out this way. Woo! Somebody's got to do it. Now I got six, six people. What do you got? Zero now. No, oh, okay, good. Oh, because you made. Uh oh, there it is. Catfish Jody. Oh, pontoon Jody. What am I saying? Catfish Jody. Color dink, dink Jody. The dink hunter. She get all mad. Stream yard. Yeah, I was trying to get my uh, watch time up. <laughs> That's fine. But you definitely have more people watching. Uh, no, I'll drop off, though. You're fine. I don't need to be up. Catch all of Daryl's fish. I'm going to try, Lynn. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, John and Daryl. I can't come up right now. Good. Okay. It's okay. No problem. All right. So today we're going to try to uh, fish several different spots and see if we could get skunked in eight or nine different places. <laughs> because as I always say, how's the weather out here, John? It's actually butamous. That's right. And when the weather's butamous and you're comfortable and not miserable, you ain't you're catching no fish. fish. Never. Because the fish like go, oh, it's oh, the fishermen will be out today. It's a nice day. I'm not eating anything. That's my theory on it. What those oh, size matters. Catfishing, what's up? Yo, sup, y'all. Good luck out there. Good. We I need it. What a nice community that we share each other's fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I just I just share Daryl's, not mine. Right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to take him to my spot, so I figured I we'd fish Daryl's spot. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to show him all my dragon spots. <laughs> Yeah, dragon's so much work. Can you believe that? What's it, Burke? Or, uh, he's in a kayak. He runs 10 rods and 10 planer boards from his kayak. From Ryan Bortz. I didn't know he had it like was. I, I, I can't even run. I couldn't run 10 planer boards. I could barely run the four or five, the four or six I run. I can't imagine running from a kayak. I mean, you wonder why he's catching fish. He's got the whole river covered, right? Yeah, I definitely couldn't. That's impressive. I mean, I, I couldn't do it. In my live the other night, I ran my trolling motor batteries all the way down to nothing. We did that Saturday. But it took, but it took about seven hours of it running at eight, eight, seven and eight the whole time. But I had eight lines out, and what a disaster! I'm trying to reel them all in. I was in heavy currents, so the boat's like moving down, so I'm dragging them all the lines, trying to get snagged, but. I made it without anything getting snagged. Here we go. I can only manage six rods on my yak. Yeah. R Ryan, he, he runs uh, 10 on a kayak. There's no way. Two people in. Welcome, welcome. Ryan is going full time. Downtown Ernie Brown. What's up? Morning. 
just out here with the catfish hunter, seeing uh, what we could do today down here in the Chester Frost area, where the, uh, what was I going to say, where the gathering shall be gathering. We're pre-fishing for the gathering. Yeah, a little early. <laughs> But yeah, pretty nice day today. So uh, it'd be pretty hard to get a catfish in this nice weather. I mean, this like this like late April, Mayish type of day. Yeah, it is. Well, for anybody who cares, we're sitting in almost fifty foot of water, very rough, rocky bottom. Marked a lot of fish coming through here. So we stopped for a minute. I said, hey, there's fish right here. Let's see if we can't hook them. He's running all Mad Cat's rods now, like a good guy. Okay. Still need to get the skunk off the green one. Yeah. My, that's yeah. my that's my luckiest rod. Jody gave me a gremlin, and it, it seems like it, it all catches a fish every time. I went back and watched my live the other night. I never watch them, but somebody said, go back and watch and see when you hook that fish. I was talking, not paying attention. <laughs> that rod was going down for five minutes before I got over to it. Nobody, nobody typed in, nobody typed in chat. Hey, check your rod. Yeah, when Dana and I were laying in bed watching, I'm like, oh, because I rewound it. I'm like, oh, there's the bite. James. Nobody, okay. nobody said anything to me. I was in there eating my grapefruit, just having a good old day. It was probably on there a good minute at least before I, I noticed it. And when I noticed it, it was it was like just like bent down. Not it yeah. wasn't it wasn't bumping like it was because he's. And I was like, I wonder if that's a fish. Oh yeah, it, yeah, was, a fish. it was a good takedown. It was a nice takedown. I mean, it just yeah for somebody who ain't paying attention. And stay very. And it figures that I had just taken the guard dogs off. But that's a good short. Make that into a short. Yes. Yeah. Look, he's not paying attention. My uh my takedown videos seem to do the best. Especially the planer board ones. When you see the planer board skipping across yeah. the water real quick, yeah, those those shorts get tons of views. Back to only one person. And I'm up to twelve. They're like, we're not, we're not, we're not going to you, John. James is more popular. I got everybody saying hi to each other. Hi, 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 hi. Fishing with Steve Mosley. Okay. Did you put my boat on charge before you left? Did you order that charge? Queen? Of course I did. I always do what I'm told. Oh, there he is. Tissue seeker outdoors. <laughs> I'm just kind of moseying around showing John's all, all. He didn't know any of your spots out here at Chester Frost, Daryl. So from here, we're going to go hit the wall at the house, and then we, I, I'm going to show them all. We'll see if we can pull any fish out of them. Thank you, James. You're welcome, Jody. Denise, Northern Outdoors, hey, country girl. Everybody's saying hi, 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 hi. Misplaced, uh, hi, trophy seekers. Yeah, Daryl, he don't fish much anymore now that he's in the hundo club and stuff. So, well, him and Woody. Do not show him my spot. Yeah, that's the first place we fish. Sorry, Jody. No, I didn't show him your spot. This is our first stop, man. We're right out, right out the mouth of the uh, thing. He saw fish on the fish finder, so we stopped. And I, I tried to explain to him that... Anytime I see fish, I never able to catch the fish I see. So, Daryl, whatever it takes to catch fish, James, you get them. Yeah, he's saying that. Yeah. He's gritting his teeth. You can see, I could, I could just tell the hostility, Dar and he's just trying to be polite. Yeah, Daryl, Daryl's, Daryl's the one who likes to ride around scanning for fish and then stopping and angry. So but I, he's caught him. He caught him. And that's why I stopped because he told I, me. I know, but I don't catch him like he does. He told me I'm a scrub for not doing it. Like he's that. all like, hey, there's there's one fish. He stopped on one fish. We caught it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way. I don't know. It's pretty nice out here. Oh, well, we've been here 10 minutes. What should we do, Joe? What? Yeah, well, well, Joe says, actually, this what is. What would Joe do? We'd be reeling in, but. Actually, this would be a horrible place to fish in in the summer and spring. 
because you're going to have 5,000 boats going back and forth. You're going to get wake wash the whole time. And I mean, I'm talking some good wake wash. I don't know. It. Hope everyone's okay. I'm doing okay. Hey, Daryl, brother. Hope all is well. Oh, hey, there we go. Catfish or 217 Rebel Outdoors. What's up? What's up, 217? Yeah, we're just chilling out here with 16 people watching us. You want to? Well, we're good. I'm good. Were what? you ready to move? No. I'm okay. Ready. Okay. Yeah, all right. No, all right. I give it a half hour. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm. 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 I'm a camper, dude. I. If I, I'm gonna take the time to throw it all out. That's why I like dragging because I can throw it all out and I don't have to do that for a while. Yep. I catch a fish, then I, you know. Well, I'm a camper. I usually like to try to find places like the catfish highways, choke points, and stuff where you know they're gonna come through sooner or later. So you just so you could sit there and the fish is gonna come through soon. You know. At some point in time, hard to do that in tournaments because you ain't got time to be sitting there for right. two hours waiting on a fish that might not come. But I got my game plan for Saturday, but but with the rain and the wind that's going to be there, I don't know. Ernie, Daryl's babysitting. Oh, my goodness, the child's ruined. Right. Stupid weeds growing before I even plant stuff. No, I hear you. I finally broke down and mowed the yard, and that means every four days for the rest of trying to get try not to hold hold back on that first mow as long as I can. I needed to do that yesterday, and I didn't do it. Man, I'm telling you, you can watch the grass in my yard grow. It grow. Oh, there we go. Get him. Get him, John. That's get him. Oh, and oh, that's a good one. Get him. Oh, he came off. No, he didn't. No, we need it. We're gonna need. Oh, John, John, John. You know what? It's your hooks. <laughs> I mean, you put rubber hooks on here. Why'd you do that? I told you to not use the barbless. Well, I wanted a challenge. You cast it right back in the same place, and that fish is still there. You'll get him again. You don't. Oh, my goodness. He's, he's got young timers. Well, that was a good sign. We only here about 10 minutes, right? uh yeah 15 maybe but yeah about 10 so that's good there we go what do we got thank god i don't have to mow says misplaced country girl yeah be happy daryl have my Hello, one person in here no oh, stop one person that's all i have on mine it's one man and how many subscribers you got 17 no you got 1700 Oh, 1,700. Yeah, none of them like you. See, that's a, you guys are crazy. Well, they're all in on yours. You're more popular than I am. No, I'm not that okay. popular. Yeah, you are, because you're a cool cat. You know what it is? Is They they, they thought they were going to get to see my boat, and now like, they see yours are starting to punch out. <laughs> no. They thought kidding. Jody was going to be on here. No, they, I get that all the time. Where, where's <laughs> Jody? Where, where's Je Where's the queen? Dude, I got that on one of my lives. Um, Porcupine pig. That's somebody new. The one with the one uh, with with Daryl. I went live on. I had somebody kept asking, "Where's Jody? Where's Jody?" <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm not trying to be douchey. I like Jody and everything, but this is Catfish Hunters TV. Yeah. Not onto Jody's channel. Yep. Porcupine Pig, welcome in. I don't think I could say I've seen that name before. Well, I, as you could tell, would be Cool Cats Fishing, and I'm fishing out on Catfish Hunter's boat today. The Battle Wagon. It's a nice boat, though. Thanks. Lots of free space in the back for pulling in the big pigs. You could go down here and go take a siesta in the little cuddy cabin, which I won't show for too long because it's messy. Jody, you need to go out with John so you can reorganize everything for him so he can't find anything. So he can't find anything. <laughs> she gets bored and she starts, oh my goodness. She'll be going through all your cover and you should be moving everything. Should we, oh, this shouldn't be here. This needs to go over here and that goes down there. And Sounds like custom screen printing got over over 1K subs, but only two watching the live stream. 
Hey, three nights. What's up? Yak Shores Outdoors. What's up, Yak? Yak in the house. It's a fast yak attack. Amazing what happens when you get uh, lag subs. Oh, from the Filipinos. I don't think he, he did that. No, I don't have. Yeah, he didn't. No, no he just. 93% of my subs are in the U.S., it says. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I have any from over there. I've got a couple in England. I like it. Jody likes it clean. You just like it to where I can't find anything. I do have some subscribers in Turkey. <laughs> Turkey? I got a couple over from over in the UK and stuff, but I don't think I have any from the Philippines or anything. A couple from Japan. Japan. All right, Blue Ghost. They seem to like that shad head. Let's get it. Yep. Yeah, Jody likes it organized, all right. I mean, I think I've got it somewhat organized. Oh, yeah, did you? Look, jo still... Jody will come in here and show you what's organized. <laughs> like I said, she got to move everything around. Cause it's silly that you keep this here when it should be over there. And this goes there, and this goes. I'm like, okay. I am going to. He's got it. He's, he's got it pretty. He's got it pretty well organized, I must say. Got his scissors and uh, pliers and everything there. He's got his cutting board down there in the middle. It, it's just set up well. Jody'd have a hard time uh, reorganizing. I like the sunshade. Where'd you get that? Is that a carp one? Uh, Dana got it um, from Scotland. Oh, brother! See, I can, can't can't or find I, them anywhere. I, you need you need to make those and start selling them because you'd make a billion. Well, I mean, Freddie is doing that already. Mm. Yeah. He had the little video of the, him the, the mesh the net thing and, and yeah. But he's selling them for like four hundred and seventy-five dollars a piece. That's a little much. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what he's selling them for. That's the price of the multi bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know what he's selling them for. So uh oh. That same rod. Big shad heads. Yep. So you missed a big fish already, huh? Or it was a small fish. What do we got fish. here? You know how that goes. No custom screen printing with this Filipino. <laughs> okay, Jody says, oh, I, I highlighted her thing. I don't need to highlight that. Star, delete, put. Oh, guy. See, I don't, I hit a wrong button. How do I get rid of it? Remove from stage. Exit so oh man, I don't even know. What am I gonna do? How do I get that comment unhighlighted, Jody? Remove from stage. Here we go. Maybe if I hit this. <gasps> nope, that wasn't it. Oh well, Jody's comment's gonna be up there forever. Because <laughs> I don't know how to take it down. Oh, I got it. Whew, boy, I was worried there. That's why we have our own channel. Okay, 3K just turned over 30,000 miles, 300,000 miles on my truck. That's good. I got like 220, I think, on my Forerunner now. Yeah. Best way to build your channel with genuine supporters. Yeah, that's what they say. I just broke it in, Donald. Yeah, I didn't schedule to go live or anything today. So I don't ever schedule. I just pop in. I usually wait until somebody else is live so I could jump on top of them and make them all mad. No, I, I don't worry about that. We got like three people watching now. None. We get out of here. None. None. It's back to zero. Really? I got fourteen, which is which isn't bad for me on a. The other night I had like 59 at one yeah, point yeah. in my life. I can't believe that. That's like that's a that's a record for me. You want to put your phone up there? Especially without Jody. No, because then I can't read the chat. I normally stand right here so I can read the chat. Oh, listen to him. He's he's got it down. Yeah. Well, they, that's because Jody said if I don't read the chat, people are not gonna stick around. Yeah, they don't. They want to hear what they what they write. 145 on my new truck. Wow. I think I have 128 on my little car, my Hyundai Genesis Coupe, my overglorified go kart. 
this wind kicks up anymore from that direction on that or the other side. No, he's he's a he's a dual drift soccer. You ever take off with your drift sock in? Not yet. I did, lost it. Rope broke, sunk. Why did it sink? It's got flotation in it. Uh, it broke where the flotation oh. was on the side of it. But I got yeah, I, I got a new one. Huge piece of foam in the top of it that keeps it. Yeah, I was thinking about feet. doing something like that too. But there you go. You're gonna lose another one. Get him, James. You're up. You're a guest on my boat. Come on. Here, I'll hold your phone. Oh, here, you can hold the phone. You can read chat. But that's good. That's the second bite. I mean, we're getting a bite about every five, ten minutes. Not bad. Yep. Yep. And that is going to be on the skipjack because I went, I went shad, skipjack, shad. So the first one came on the skipjack on the shad head. Here, I got something for you. I got an idea. <laughs> He's got an idea. Look out. Yep, watch out, man. Thought I smelled smoke. He's thinking. Uh oh, somebody's writing a lot. Okay, porcupine. Sorry, right? Martin was in the toy Troy's live for about thirty minutes, getting ready for bed. Porcupine still listening, moving along slowly along M twenty five towards London. I'm on tipper duty. I take it she's from overseas, then, huh? Hey, Brandon. Yeah, you got bait. 922, welcome in. Oh, look, so you're making a run for it now. John, CFO, James. Got a couple folks in. There you go. Well, I'm actually going to let you guys know. Go ahead and hop over to James's. Why? And, well, because I was going to make it where you could I could mount your phone right there so you didn't have to hold it. Oh, Since funny. you have more viewers, it's better to have you. You need the watch hours. You can have one person watching. That's going to give. Otherwise, you'll be like Fazizzle. Four watch hours with 40,000 subscribers. No, it's all good. Yeah. We're all good. Mount. Mount them up. I'll just hand the phone off to you when I catch the big fish. So. I'm just amazed we even got a bite with as nice of a day it is. No problem, misplaced Martin. A mod for Troy on the day in question. I don't know what they're talking about, but that's okay. Just one knibble on that. Keep streaming, John. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to actually turn my camera and a couple of you will know exactly where I am. Came across marked a ton of stuff all along the rough bottom we've had two hits so far a really nice one on the blue ghost which is a shad head and then the other blue ghost got it uh, just a tippy you know, tap here, just a small one um and that skipjack i believe james yep. said so we have skipjack and shad out action not on the hook, Jeremy. What? Let's see what Jeremy said. Oh, hey, Jeremy Tournament Cats. What's up? Welcome. Uh, where are the fish at? Not on the hook yet. Had a couple bites. Haven't been out very long. Oh, here we go. We got racing, racing bass boats. I love these guys. Wah and wah. Yeehaw! There's another one. Going the other way. So we're going to get wake washed, wake washed. That's where the fun is, wake washed. But uh, I'd rather have them go by on plane like that than go by slow. Like he's technically throwing up a rooster tail. Yeah. So I got 18 people in my chat. And you know, it was funny the other night when I had tons of people in my chat. Nobody text or set a message saying I had a fish on. They just let me have that fish sit out there for five minutes. That was so hilarious. It was funny. The fish was for hello, Stort. Nice looking spread. Yep, that's right, Fazazzles. Stort, you're the- He's Stuart from overseas, Scotland. That's the one Scotland. who was on live that, did, that tied up some, I got some eight on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got yep. some eight on. I got them yet, but thanks for that. Well, uh, they're coming from over there. It might take a month. Yeah, I know. It's got a- Slow boat slow from, boat. Slow boat from <laughs> Scotland. 
here, fishy, fishy, fishy. But yeah, the name of that is Witchwood. That's Witchwood. That, uh, oh, okay. Because uh, mine, mine's actually Jody's sixty-three pounder was what actually tore a hole in mine. So mine's getting old and brittle. He he should start. Uh, bug weekends. Hey, is, uh, <laughs> off. And fizzle in the house. Oh, there we go. Burrito catfishing lady. Hey there. He was in my live stream last week. Hey, all in chat. I need another blue cat cookie. Yeah, we do. James Skittles, a.k.a. John. Now He says he's got them in the truck for yeah, me. I got some Skittles in the truck. He us. says he's got some, so we'll see. I to get before we got on the boat so he could actually tell everybody in live and, and get the FBI off my back. Because yeah. They're all like trying to go through our finances, thinking that we're a, a front for the mob. That's what I said. Money. You're you're laundering yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> just a front. It's just Come a front on, to, to to wash the money. Freeze dried Skittles. I'm so sure. Jody is still. First place in the weekend Mad Cats challenge. Nope, she's in second place for Zizzle. Somebody had like a 72 or something, she said. I appreciate it, Stuart. Stuart says he was in both lives, but he's going to stay here to help me with some watch hours. There you go. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Heck yeah, I hope I get 1500 bucks. You mean 750 Jody. Because I'm getting half that money. That would be awesome, though, if you could won that. What? I haven't seen one bigger. Jody, didn't you say somebody had a bigger fish than you on the Facebook, on the Mad Cats page? That had the code and everything? I saw one post it, but they didn't have the code. It was just an Didn't have the code? Calendar. It was a picture of one. I mean, there may have been one I missed because it is Facebook after all. Yeah. Not today, little Lisa. Little, little, little Lisa. James, changing boats. I'm out here with the catfish hunter today. I can't find it now. It was 72 pounds. Well, maybe they, maybe it didn't make it. Maybe there was something wrong. And today's Thursday. You only got to make it another day. Day and a half. Marillo, family fishing. What's up? Welcome in. I, <laughs> ITT says Lisa's over there. She can't find me. <laughs> I will have I will have Mexicat put in a good word for you, catfish hunters. He deals with the alphabet guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see here. Matt, are you weak? What I miss? Changing boat rental. Yep. Now I'm in the uh, catfish hunter's boat today. The next time we go out, we'll take mine. He's got a nice boat, though. It's big, plenty of room. Although that two stroke 225 we couldn't really suck down that petrol. <laughs> you can't even hear mine when it's on. Yeah, I know. Baby Daryl's, it's so quiet, man. Yep. This place fashion. I'm, I'm happy with my 10.9 blue cat. That's a good blue cat. Maddie Week, Marillo Family Fishing. I saw a guy that posted a 70 plus, but he forgot to do the video. Ah, oh, what a shame. Ah, I want to be outdoors, says negative Lisa. Shanna was sad we forgot to do a video for her fish. Yep, that's a shame. Matt, okay. Stan three. What's up, y'all? What's up, Stan? Eric B. Want to be outdoors using, oh, oh John's using, yeah, drive safe, nine, two, two. John's using freeze dried Skittles that actually freeze dried Colombian powder. <laughs> it's on the packaging. That's funny. That's funny. Want to be. Oh, there's Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Okay. Yeah. Bald cat. Bald cat. Bobby. Well, we Bobby. Bobby. Baldy. No, Bobby, Bobby. 
Bobby, by hey Bob, I got two big uh, decals I want to put on my boat, and I'm scared to put them on because I think I'm going to mess it up. I might need you to do an install. I was going to say if you can find a um, a place that does tent, they can do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got Bobby can do it. Well, I know he's down here. You're up there. Yeah, I come down here a lot, though. I'll come down here to see Bobby. And we got Burrito. What? What are going fishing later? Oh, we are going fishing later, Captain Morgan. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm sorry. Hey, Don Long. Don Long. What's up? misplaced i it was my second and third blue cat fish that i caught ever oh that's good we um we had a really nice takedown earlier missed it but it was on a huge shad head so, so that could be why yeah bob says he needs bait no he doesn't brandon got it all at Nick. oh yeah that's right they got like 400 skipjack yesterday what I tell you to go? I hope they didn't where did I tell you to go? Where did I tell you to go? And where did you go? You didn't tell me till after that. No, I told you. I said you go. I'm gonna go up to Watts Bar try to get some. I said oh, no. Totally. Go to. I know. I said go to Nickajack. Where'd you go? Chickamauga. Daryl, they they sat there and they were just jumping in the boat. They didn't even have to try to catch them or anything. That's how it used to be a Chickamauga. You could just wag your finger and here they'd come, but. You know, it's not like that anymore. My dad caught a PB last night. Really? What do you, what do you get? A PB what there, Stan 3? You didn't name sturgeon. the fish. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> oh, there's no way it's a PB sturgeon. You ain't beating that 222. Yeah, they, they filled up like three ice chests. Daryl said he was catching three at a time for like all afternoon. Oh, shh. And the only reason it's like that is because you can't fish from the bank there. Yeah, if, if you can fish at that uh, outcrop, um, if you get off on the first exit, you fish in the lock, they're in there. Joe goes in there all the time and catches them. No, I'm talking about uh, Nigga Jack. Right, I'm talking about Nick and Jack too. Right, what I'm saying is from the bank, because I've tried to catch skips from. The you got to be on the other side, on the lock side is where you catch them. Yeah, I told Dana. On the Patriot Rod stand, laugh out loud. Brandon Bob's bait. Oh, Brandon's Brandon is Bob's bait handler. The day could be worse. Could be in the CTF drama. Catch the fever? Catch the fever drama. What drama they got going on? That's the only CTF I know of. Yeah, who's CTF and who's the drama? We love drama. No, not really. So what's let's hear about the PB there, Stan. Okay. Unfortunately, not a catfish. It was a 30-pound striper. Sweet, though. That's a good catch. We'll take that. That beats mine. I think mine's 28, my PB striper. I gave Bob 25 skips yesterday because we have so many that we can't even freeze them all. John should have went to Nickajack. I mean, nobody said You're, you're right, Fizzizzle. I, I told him. He don't listen to me. Thanks for the invite. I, you told me that after I'd already spent the day at, Ch at uh, Chickamauga. Negative. It was yesterday, and I told you the day before. Nice try. You it's okay. Yeah, I did. When we were talking, you said I you said tomorrow I'm gonna go to Watts Bar. I said no, go to Nickajack, and you went to Chickamauga. Yesterday is when you told me that. No, I, I told you. you. No. You're gonna make me go through conversation. I, I will I will because you are wrong. Just shows how much he doesn't listen. Yeah, that might be true. <laughs> so I guess I spelled it, did it wrong. Let's go. It's getting hard to read chat with all these people in here now. <laughs> Hey, what's up, bro? I got 24. What's up, Gil That's still cool. That's still cool, Stan. Yep. We've had two. One really good hit didn't hook up on a huge shad head. And we had one little taparui. Nice. The S3. Those are a fun fight. Marillo Family Fishing. That sure is a skinny striper. 
So I guess I spelled it wrong. Oh, stripper. Skinny stripper. Daryl took all the bait. Of course he did, because that's how he rolls. Daryl, remember who told you where the skipjacks was, not me. He or she needs a sandwich. Talking about a 30-pound stripper. Huh. It's not stripper, striper. I guess that's bad, bad. What my phone autocorrect does. The pole swings around her. Now the pole swings around her. Enough at the stripper already. My goodness, people. Fizzizzle, we'll never see any of that bait again. No, oh, that's Bobcat saying. Yep, Daryl's probably already got it freeze dried. Up in uh, Ottawa, I so I guess Canada. It's gone. Gone. Catch the fever, and I'm not going to bring it up. Too much to type out. All right, no problem. Graham? I'll give John two skips. I brought him skips. No no worries, Bob. Oh, Illinois. I always got bait, Bob, because of Jody. She's, a, she's got her bait license. Oh. Brandon, can I get half a skipjack to fish I catch lately? Is my last five months. Where was so, Daryl throwing the net? No throwing the net. They caught him online and hooking hook and line. You're also hearing uh, my buddy James on live on his channel. For those who is Putin in here? I didn't see him. He was in earlier there, Stan Three. Putin. Putin's babysitting grandson today. Yep. Jody needs to go back to Kentucky for another load of skips. Well, actually, they're running up there, too, right now, so she might get, get some this time. Hey, didn't she only get one? Yeah, <laughs> one, and somebody gave her one. She ought to give you something as often as you rescue her. Daryl did his best Saturday. Bless his heart. <laughs> Put on a clinic, he did. Hey, they started catching in the afternoon. Would they yep. jump up to third or something? Fourth. Fourth. Yeah. Yeah, he was behind. I'm yeah, planning on making that. Kentucky Dam run soon, Brandon. Yep, they said they're biting up there again. They should be running the Watts Bar here pretty quick. But they're not in abundance yet. And Watts Bars, they're, they're the hardest skipjacks to catch anyway. They're the most finicky. And they're the biggest, and they fight the most, and they tear the hook right out of their mouth. All right, they sure we're gonna get a couple more. Oh, there we go. Here we go, here we go. go, James. Go, 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 go. Fish on. Look at that. It ain't even. How, how loose you got your drag there? No, he's one. Where's Daryl? This is a big, big fish. And you got your drag loose, I think. Yeah, me too. It may have gotten bumped. This is, man, this is a big, everybody, this is a big, oh, he's getting bigger. He's netable. Well, if he's netable, let me get that ready. Yeah, he's going to be netable. See, John, this is how you, you don't pull the hook out of his mouth. Hey, I appreciate, I, I, appreciate the, uh, I appreciate the info, man. Because I'll tell you what, since December, oh, stop rolling, dude. since December, my He's rolling. He's my rolling. fishing has sucked. So yeah, I'll take all the like rolling like a storm. Come on up, fish. All right, I'm gonna set you guys down because I he's gonna need the net. So yep. hopefully that is an okay spot right there. And he should be almost here. Oh, there he is. He's not a monster, but he's okay. And your phone. It don't matter. 15, maybe? If you're right. 15. Oh, sorry. I'm trying not to get in the head with that. You want to set it free? You could have done it in front of it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, it might be a dub, might be a twin. Yeah. Maybe. There he is, talking up a storm. Look at that. What a handler. 
this actually gives me back to you. This is a good uh this is a good uh skunk buster here. Yeah. Ah, oh, what's that yeah. There we go. Whoa, whoa, easy. Not a bad fish, hey. No. What? What's that? Oh, John had you hooked earlier, but you, you slacked the line off and you got off. Oh, okay. Mwah. Thanks for that. Take fish. I appreciate the, the trash talking. But it's a fish. We show it to mine. Oh, yeah. Here, 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 two people. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Thanks. I knew you were going to do that. Tail whips right. in the face as he's looking at the thing. Not a bad fish. Tennessee blue cat will take him. I wouldn't say the average fish, a little bigger than the average. What? Oh, I'm not going to repeat that. He's he talking said, about Daryl. Yeah, I know. You, you, I heard him about Daryl. All right. Well, we'll let this guy go. You want to wait on it? I mean, no, I, we can. Yeah, I mean, we can. Scale. Let's feel important. Let's right, act well, like somebody. Let's put you back then, folks. Should have brought my little, uh, my little holder for the, uh, for the, I can't even say now, the holder for the phone. Jody's got 90,000 of them in my boat. Look at me, even wet the net. This guy knows what he's doing. You always want to wet your sling before you put the fish in, is what I'm told. Oh, this is a pretty good sling. My new Mad Cat scale. Yeah. Never used till now. So we're gonna... Boy, you get a hundred pounder. It's going to be hard to get the thing all the way up here. And we're going. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. Probably 22. What's your, what's your sling weight? 2.38. So he's uh, 20, about 22 yeah. even. Yep, yeah, 22 even. All right. Woohoo. 22 even, if y'all can see it. And 22 even. I guess we'll let him go over here. I'll open the sling up, let him swim out. Yeah. Get the release. Oh, another beautiful blue here from Tennessee. For those of you that are going to the gathering, very obtainable fish up in this area. Go out the front. You can let that one side go, but I wanted them to swim out the front because it looked better. It does, but he's 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 gone. He's a Daryl fish. He's, he's out of here. Right on. No skunk today. He asked if I guaranteed a fish on the Catfish Hunters TV channel, and, he said and he did. Uh, there you go. And there it is. John, a man of his words. I like that. You put that right there while it's all wet? Yeah. yeah. All right. So the big question is, do you leave fish to find fish, or are we sticking it out here? <laughs> you know, it's funny because I was about to go. We could go. I mean, that's fine. You want to give it a few minutes? Well, that could have been the only fish here, though. I mean, not according to what you saw. What do you think, James? I know you like to sit. I, I, I'll tell you what. If I catch a fish, I give it at least 10 more minutes. So it also came on the smallest float. Oh. Ooh, hook yourself. This is Luke's favorite hook. What is it? It's called the pig, pig sticker. Pig sticker. Yep. That's a nice hook. Look at the barb. See, I don't care about the offset and stuff. I care about the barb because that's what keeps the fish on. Yeah. But it's good if you have a big chunk of bait because of the gap. Yep. You got that's a good gap. Got to have a good gap and got to have a good barb. That's all I'm looking for in a hook. Yeah. Show, show them three people. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> okay. Sorry. And who snuck in here while I was catching a fish? Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's supposed to be super windy Saturday, 25, 30 mile an hour winds. Kentucky, four hours from me and it's bad. I'd rather go to Kentucky than Ar Arkansas, Arkansas, Arkansas. Arkansas. They started catching fish when they watched us. Don't let Daryl fool you. Bob, I let Jim fish with me. Stand three, I got a prediction for Saturday. Bob's going to get a 122 pounder. 
Wouldn't that be a state? No, it's 128. 128, I think. Yep. Him. I let him fish with me. That. That's. All a, right. Yeah. We're this is this is a this is a big fish, Daryl. I guess Stan three jumped into mine for a minute and then jumped back out. Hey guys, big fish here. That's a big fish, guys. That was hilarious with Daryl that day. Stan three, I'm je I'm jealous. Wind is blowing like 30 miles an hour here. Well, it's gonna be Saturday when we have our second half of the King of the Tennessee. Bobcat says, that's my spot you're in. That sucks, Bob. Sorry to I hear mean, about he the wind. Every spot is his spot. No, that's Daryl. Daryl, I told Daryl I was gonna buy him little like buoys, and he could just put a little buoy that says Daryl. I gotta get like real small ones, and he could put them. They'd be all up and down the river everywhere. I like that rock ledge spot, but there's some nice fish around there. I bet there is. Is Watts Bar Lake section of the Tennessee River? Uh, yes, Watts Bar Lake is part of the Tennessee River system. So wow. let me give this a few more minutes. Eric and, B., I'm uh, in Tennessee. Maybe hit another spot. I wanted to go take, take James Dragon at a certain spot, but when I went through there, there was nothing there. So I'm not going to waste time. Came through here, started marking a lot of fish. Really rough, rocky bottom. So figured give it a little bit of time yep. here. Got that. Got a really nice bite about 10 minutes, 15 minutes in. Didn't hook up because I'm a slacker and I use rubber hooks with no barbs. And then uh, <laughs> we retied some real hooks on and James, uh, James managed to catch himself a 20, what? 22.2? 22, 22, 22, yeah, uh, two, 22 pound blue. Uh, so that's kind of the update. We're going to give this spot a few more minutes because of that hit. Um, See if there's something else. Peace, love, and macarons that Eric B have joined. Well, that's. Dangerous. I believe John has some freeze dried Skittles in his truck, James. Uh, yeah, they're in his truck because he's not going to give them to me. He already forgot. <laughs> I don't know if you were in when we caught the fish, but we caught the fish, honey. And uh, I'm live too, so thanks for being on James. <laughs> Even get my wife to watch my shit. Damn. Holy cow, there's Patricia Ackerman, a good friend of mine. I've known for uh, probably 20, 25 years. What's up, Pate? All of these out. Oh, Fizzizzle says all these out of town poachers coming in. Natives rule. Oh, that's nice, John. Talking to two people in his chat. <laughs> Taking the time out to talk to the two people in his chat. It's his, <laughs> it's his, it's his mother and somebody else. I don't know. Jody, we need a big fish prize. Poor John. And I think I'm caught up. I'm all caught up. What I can't I can't see that number. What's that number there say? I can't quite read that. It says uh, what's that? Oh. <laughs> Stop. And you got like a thousand more subscribers than me, too. That's funny. Thanks and have, have a great day. <laughs> Come again. I think they're all subscribers that watch my shorts because my shorts, man, are getting almost ten thousand views a short now. Yeah, I don't get. But see, I don't not, get. I, I get. I get. My shorts do better than my my long because I, I can't video edit with the darn. So my long term videos are like uh, like the Blair Witch Project. The camera's all jumping all around. There's like yeah, I can't there's like, like the there's show. like an hour and a half of nothing happening. Yeah, Joe's like an editing machine. Yeah. I got to do that to him, too. Not Bobcat, too. Bobcat could edit, edit some, throw some edits up there. Woody's good at it. Daryl doesn't do it. Woody does it for him. Yeah. I need a Woody. Well, I don't know about that. I'm a little salty at Woody because when I went back and watched the bait video, I caught more big bluegill, but he only showed the small bluegill I saw. <laughs> that's I editing. Like that's a secret of editing. <laughs> that's, why you, that's why you learn how to edit. There you go. This guy got to come in and fish on top of you. How dare those catfishermen be in my bass hole? <laughs> that's, that's probably what it is. <laughs> they are bass holes, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Look at them. Let me get over here and just give them the biggest wake I can. He's like, oh, forget it. They're there. They've ruined it.
Bobcat, my shorts have holes. Oh, my shorts have holes and skid marks. When you say freeze dried Skittles, do you mean Colombian bomb bomb? <laughs> They're going to have you on some watch list or something. That would be catfish hunters, by the way. That's not cool catfishing. I'm not running the, uh, I'm not running the, the, the money, the money laundering business. That's precision cabinets. What's it <laughs> oh, that's yeah, precision cabinets. Yeah, Daryl's another one. He's running another money laundering scheme. <laughs> you mean Colombian bomb bomb? <laughs> that's funny. Let's just put it this way. That's Morella family fishing. I have a lot better boat if I was if I was doing that kind of stuff. I mean, I got a nice boat. I like it, but what the James? Too early for that kind of talk. Why does his Why does his nose itch all the time? We'd be fishing in a forty-two foot uh, Freeman. <laughs> Bob Shorts has more tracks in them than the railroad station. Yeah, Bobcat, he's got like seven different camera angles. He's 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 cutting in and stuff. He's the man. Three nights. Hello, Tim. I'll Three nights. Oh, he jumped ship. I see how he I'll is. The today. We need to hit the river when we get a chance, brother. Yeah, Tim, I mean, it really. Hi, honey. She's in there. But Tim, it just takes you actually coming into town and making a phone call and let me know that you're you're freaking here if you want to go on a fishing trip. Jody Hello, says, choo, choo. To Bobby's. Henry renewed your license? Yeah. Mine was on the 16th. That's why I, asked. My, I got mine on auto renew, so I don't have to mess with any of that. Well, she, they actually do. And for those of you who don't know, I'm going to share this little tidbit out my wife found. Now, we hadn't done it yet, but if you were born in the state of Tennessee, which I was not, but live in another state, you do not have to get the out of state. Out of state. You really? The in state. Yeah. You just have to send in like your birth certificate and some other stuff. Because our licenses were like due now, and it's only fifteen dollar difference. Yeah, um, I went ahead and just renewed them. But yeah, she could. But that means that she can get like the permanent license. Well, I'm I'm pretty close. I'm at like from my back and all the medical issues I got. I'm like ninety percent through the VA right now. So if I ever made a hundred, it'd be free free fishing license for life. Yeah, apparently that's a really cool thing, Tennessee. I don't know if it's new, just really heard about it and saw it. Um, but Tennessee's got some really cool programs like that. They've got like a military program that if you're from Tennessee and you're stationed somewhere, you only have to pay for your Tennessee residence. They've got a license for mentally challenged kids to where it's like a one-time $10 license and it does them forever. Um, yeah, they do have a lot of good programs. Programs in Tennessee to get people out fishing. Cats are supposed to use the litter box and want to be outdoors. Tells Bobby more skid marks than a drag strip. Want to be outdoors. Same goes for 100% disabled vets that live in another state. They get resident prices. That's sweet. Yep, we caught a fish. We're kind of scrolling back through uh, your chat. Hey, I appreciate you subbing three nights. Yeah, I didn't put this one in sub mode only. Uh, I did the last week one, but I didn't do that to this one. Now, why would you do that when you only have three people coming and watching? Last week, I averaged oh. 14. Oh, well, there you go. So No, I'm actually, this is, that, that, that's 27. That was high for me for a daytime thing. Then again, Jody's probably out there, good, probably good. trying to share me out to the whole world. She's good at that. Bobby starts his, Bobby Shorts has more tracks what you say? My stream is now officially more important than yours. Okay. Because I have the champion of the live tournament fishing league in mind, and he just gave oh, me a thug. brother. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. I appreciate it. <laughs> Look at him. Makes it nice to have been born in Chattanooga. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Daryl should apply for that one. Yep. Fifty. I don't think they have an old. Like, I don't think it goes down after age and for out of state that I've ever seen three nights. Stan put a bunch of trophies up. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's, he's, I, I, he's, 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 he's still eating his cereal out of his out of his uh, trophy in the morning. A lot of us coming after you this year, Stan, because finishing fifth left, left a bad taste in my mouth and I know the second place guy sitting right here left a bad taste in his mouth 
So, uh, yeah, we all come in this year. This one's going to be a tight, tight race, especially with the new point system. Only being a one point difference between first and second is going to be a huge difference instead of it being almost double. Didn't it go from like 15 to eight, I think, was the old scoring? Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, it went to, it's like uh, the points, you get a lot more points, but everybody, it's only like a point difference in between yeah, first that's and what second. I'm yeah. That's, that, that's going to make it a tighter race. Yeah, I want to be. I got a couple things in pending with the VA right now. So I got just waiting to hear back. You know how they go. Um, I'm here too. Oh, Stan threes in both of ours at one time. How do you do that, Stan? I hope so. Let's raise the bar, Stan said. My bad. Um, I don't. The only person I think that's Tim is blue, but I'm not sure if he knows how to share links out. And my wife should be blue, but wow, I don't know. it didn't. Happen. Now, if Jody comes over into mine, I know she's a mod on my channel. Bob, I don't know if Bob is. Fishizzle is. So if any of those are in here and want to share out links, that's fine by me. Wow, Marillo, thanks. It says Marilla. Wow, I didn't even have the bell set for Cool Cats, and I would I hadn't even subbed the Catfish Hunters, but he has now. Awesome, thank you. YouTube messing with my universe. Yeah, it, it's weird. If you if you don't go to somebody's page that you're subscribed to or something in a certain amount of time, they'll de they'll they'll turn you off. Y'all should get a reply in about four months. Yeah, I, I've had an appeal with the board for five years, so. Uh, all right, I think it's going to be. Yeah, it's time to move. We're going to have to move, folks. They got on. They got water guns out. All right, the man, store. I think I'll buy one for Friday night. So, oh boy, Jody's buying a squirt gun. Look out! I mean, the only person she can squirt is going to be whoever she's fishing with. So you. Yeah. Great. Hey, everybody. I'll be right back. I got to go respond to a text message I got. It might bump me. It might bump me off for a sec. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. There's Catfish Hunters with his professional technique of reeling in. See how he holds the elbow at a 45 degree angle. The pole is at a the proper height to save his back. He catches such he catches all these big fish all the time. He's got to lift with his knees, not his back, and. Well, I'm going to go help him reel in, so I'm going to set the phone down here for a sec. Let's see. I just There we go. I'll put it right there for a second. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. Not good. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. You don't really got to swap baits a lot until it gets to the water gets super warm. You know, I always you know, it was, if it, it still got blood in it. It was, uh, it was the way I cut the bait up it's just to maximize the bait, the blood saving. God, it's all, all technique. So the skip deck had been getting bite. Make sure I didn't get a nibble. This one had a nibble. A 99 blood in it. So I'm digging the Mad Cat rods. All right, reels I need. They hold a lot more line than the 65 of the Abu 6500s. And they got the power handle on them. So this is the one that got a nibble and it was skip jacked, but it couldn't have been biting too hard. No, it doesn't even look like it's got guts still in it. The line. Got never the blood, so. No, I don't like that. The, the jingle of the rod rack right here, what's up with that? Yeah, you get some duct tape, wrap it around, make it a little thicker so it fits in there tight. Well, I've actually got them in there, and then I've got uh, self-tapping screws to the other from one tube into these, so they don't move near as much. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the not... only negative. That I just talking out loud. No, I'm one billion percent there. It's it's a negative. <laughs> Almost, I got 
All right, we are just about ready to go, folks. Where do you want to go? Well, you want to go hit Daryl's spot? Yeah, let's go hit the wall. We'll go hit the wall. We're going to go to Daryl's spot. Try to catch Daryl's fish. All righty. Actually, I think that's the spot that um, Bob and Brandon won some tournament at Monster Hunt or something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, right, I'm going to a lot of them are... make a run. Because my motor's loud. His motor's loud. I'm still reading. I'm, I'm listening to what. Uh... I'm uh, reading what uh, Want to Be Outdoors said. Yeah, they got all sorts of stuff they're changing. I got lots of deployments, so I ain't too worried about that. Captain Morgan, pre-fishing James, you need practice. Uh, I'm not really pre-fishing. I'm not going to fish where I'm at. All right, Patty. Bye bye. You have a great day. I'll give you a call later, maybe. Bobcat Outdoors, just another brick in the wall, baby. What does he know about Floyd? No, he's talking about uh, Winter Blues, where Daryl fished or whatever. I Going to the wall. Yeah, I know. I know. That's my genre or my years of music how old are you 51 oh you're like a teenager i'm chasing daryl i'll be 60 in april yeah it's not like nine years is that big of a difference huge difference just 58 to 59 is a huge difference because you get all listen to that nice quiet two stroke but it gets up and go his boat's got more more get up and go than mine which is pretty impressive considering it weighs 8,000 pounds. Whoa. <laughs> I've got three quarters of a tank in it, so yeah. probably use all that today. I'll give you gas, money. Yeah, I will. I will take it. No, I'll put it in the boat somewhere where you'll find it later. Just use it for when we go, Oh, we could do that. So up here, you kind of, kind of got to hang out and go well, like almost all the way across before you can cut to the right. Because it gets real, really shallow. So all around the corner, too. So I drive by my uh, Yeah, that's good. I'm just saying. You've been out here before, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. all working well we got the one fish a 22 pounder about over here that all over there is like real real shallow i've done really good dragging through there it's a pretty long strip yeah right next to the ledge the ledge in the trees there's like a 20-foot line right there okay and then uh the hot water outlets like probably like right underneath the power lines almost out in the middle of the river oh that guy's gonna be mad 
I go, I almost go all the way down to the end, so. Yeah, you can't worry about everybody all the time. I know, I know. You're just gonna wake wash them up onto the beach. Look at it. This is that's when you have money when you got your boat up out of the water for the winter. That must be nice. That's one thing my trolling motor's got, that automatic deploy is nice, except for it's just one more thing to go wrong with your trolling motor. Yeah, Daryl has that too. That is nice. But like he said, yeah. it is something else to go it's wrong. To go wrong. And believe me, it's got to be dialed in perfect. I usually go farther down a little yeah, bit. I okay. Scanning. Oh, he's he's scanning. I got a handful of deployments as well, veterans like you and I, who actually deployed and having false claim. Now, if you if you've seen me, you talk to Jody about me. I mean, I got days I can't even get out of bed. I can hardly walk. Can't end it all. My back is blown. My knees are blown. I've had kidney cancer five times, which I haven't been able to tie into the Navy yet. But with all this, them starting to recognize all this toxicity that we are exposed to. Yeah. But yeah, I got a lot of problems. But I try not to oh, duck, duck, duck and cover. Somebody's shooting guns. But I hear you want to be. I mean, I just feel bad for, I mean, I, I figure I'll get money from the VA, but I mean, I almost feel bad because there's guys that are all blown apart, you know, that are having a hard time getting claims. And it's crazy. Crazy world to be a. Eh? All right, we are at our next fishing hole. I mean, look at this guy. He's got electronics up there. He's got his camera there. He's got depth finder and a depth fish finder and a depth finder and another thing. Man, this guy is Captain Electronic. I'm surprised he doesn't have the uh, no love, love scope. scope. No love scope yet? Nope. The, love the love scope. Is ready to find some bait for you. The loves go. Here's my summer summer house. I, I rent out during the summer so I could, you know, help make the payments on it. <laughs> huh? What was that? What was that? He, oh, he's moving. I think he's moving. John can't make it. He's very indecisive. He's moving off the fish to go. No, no, I'm just. Yeah, I myself, I'm usually down maybe 30 feet that way. No, but I, what do I know? I've never really caught fish here. Like Daryl the Great. Daryl the Great. And still can't catch a fish. Yep, that's right. I try not to put my stuff out there either. Like seven of you all in here. I Takes me it. about two hours to be able to move around going, going to be interesting at the gathering. Yeah, I mean, I have my days. There's been a couple of times I reeled in a big catfish that damn near killed me. Lots of Motrin, Advil, Tylenol. I'm surprised my stomach doesn't have holes in it. I jacked my shoulder up. I was taking a lot of the lead for the yep. naproxen, and man, my stomach's been jacked. And I take a lot of what is it called? Uh, that medicine in the bottle? Uh, oh, booze. <laughs> yeah, I drink way too much. Yum, yum, yum. But it's like mother's milk. James sounds like a goal announcer. John's going to stop here. No, let's change it up. We're moving again. Go! He's at the spot now. This is it. Look, look at, look on the ground. Look at that. The 400 pound catfish on the chart. I can't believe Jody doesn't have a, a phone holder packed in my, uh, my, my bag for me. I didn't bring more than one. No, nah, that's fine. I didn't, I didn't think we'd both be going. I'm just going to go until my phone dies anyway. And that fast. They're not liking you. 
Yeah. It just makes it easier yeah. to pass the hard part. You know how that is. I, 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 We're going to have to go with the over the shoulder cast here. Oh, you know what? I saw a big fish jump right there last year. And I'm on them. I just thought scattered that one. Yeah. That's one thing. The bigger drift socks, a lot easier to get a fish tangled up on them. All right. Clear, clear. I've only I've only pierced one ear. Watch this That's just the same. Put one in the shell and go for that. I am. Throw it up to this nice and you can do a new setup. The bass guy's going to be upset because he wants to throw a fly there. Go ahead, I'm waiting on you. Three. You the man. I remember the first time I I go. I, what do you call that? A Jody. Yeah, he just jodied really bad, so he'll be he'll be untangling that for a few. Really? Oh, he already got out. Well, when the brutal pad. Oh, yeah. Look, look. As soon as I say something, <laughs> I got. So a, is I got that a negative about dragging? You have to keep your brake loose. So when yeah. you anchor cast, you yeah, have to summit hardcore. Jody's in the boat. I dial him way down. Down long three stands. Want to be all the way back to James? Thanks, three stands. All right, my phone's looking at your call. That should have been high time. Sorry, folks. On page. No, I just said. Hey, I wasn't sitting there playing with myself or something in front of me. Yep, that happens. Come over and give you a thumbs up. Thumbs down to me. Thumbs yeah, everybody down. should run over and uh, give uh, Catfish Hunters a thumbs up on his uh, channel too. Golf. What about golf? What's it say? James sounds like a golf announcer. Oh, here we are. Here we are at John's spot. He's now he's now going to move forward about 15 feet. Everybody's watching in anticipation. There he goes, and 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 he's in the hole. <laughs> I thought he said a goal, a golf announcer. Yeah, that makes sense. He's now making a slight adjustment to the drift sock. That's going to change the trajectory of all the lines. Here we go. Well. First bite. How many minutes, people? Everybody, put put your call in there. I saw James scratch his butt live the other day. I scratch my butt a lot, Bobcat, Bobby, Bobbert, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. I say within fifteen minutes we get a hit, and it's one o four. So. I'm not saying we'll have a fish, but I'm saying we'll have a hit. I mean, with everything we've marked, we, I think we get something around here. I, I would think so, too. Well, this is Daryl's spot, so of course you're going to catch something here. Because Daryl's spots are always filled with fish. <laughs> Who want to be stored? It's not like that. Some could have dropped your room. Yes, it is, Matt. Back to James. I still got five folks in here. I appreciate all of you. Well, I told him to go over and give you a give you a like, a thumbs up. Go give the cat that that John guy. Bobby, it says Bob. You didn't know James has worms and hasn't been to the vet yet. Well, I got that from my dog, so yeah, I try to. I eat worms right now. Ernie, I know. I thought he took his medication. Well, I take medication, all right, but it's it's not it's not it's not it's not for that. Yeah, Daryl was out there eating the eating the worms the other day when we were out there. Scrum deliamptious. Lots of good good source of protein. He said if the bluegill can eat Bob, it, he forgets to take so many. Downtown Ernie Brown. Uh, Bobby, Bobby Cat, 
Bobby Cat Outdoors. Let's see. Boy, the water's low, isn't it, though? Yeah. See, if you had that love scope, you could, you could be looking around and see, looking for everything. Oh, yours is a touch screen, too? Yeah. Wow, mine's not a touch screen. Well, this one's this guy, screen. this guy, look at Mr. Electronics over here. This, I have to turn the uh, volume off because it'll just sit there and beep, 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 beep. It's the newest of all my units, but it's got the most issues. Yeah, you know what they say, the higher the... Oh, look at this guy. He's adjusted. Man, he, he's, got it. he's got this down. So a bunch of stuff. Let's go. And I would say after here, you always have to go fish the hot water outlet for a little while, and then then you could go find yourself a place to drag, if you you've got your heart set on it. I'm curious to see uh, your techniques. That's my, why Darryl my said he didn't want to go fishing today. Because you were going to drag. I asked him. I said, "Do you want to go fishing?" He's first. He's like, "I think I'm busy." But are you going to be dragging? And I was like, probably. And he's he like, no. Yeah. Back. That's like work. He don't want to do that. You know, that's different. He's going to redo this one because that drift sock is all up on that line. Hey, Ernie Brown. I'm glad he can move like he does. Yeah, me too. Hey, for sizzle bud, Ernie. The only worm I, I wish I had was a tapeworm. <laughs> you could eat all the food I eat, and that way I wouldn't get so big. All right, we are set up and ready to go. Let's go fish. It's uh, eight after. We're four minutes into it. So we got another uh, few more minutes before I said we get a bite. Definitely have a ton of stuff on screen. That's a, for, for me, that's a kiss of death, though. I mark fish. It seems like I never get them. I'm not going to fib. I've had that happen quite a few times lately. This one I usually, I serious. I, I got, I get, I was so frustrated the other week. I, I started going places where I didn't see anything and fish there. And I'll be danged if I didn't catch a fish. Boy, the bassers are out today, huh? Yep. Lots and lots of bass boats. Man, it's a nice day, though. Look at that big screen TV and the uh, gazebo up there. Oh, jeez. Huh? Huh? They're really roughing it. I bet you they have us up live on the TV, right? On their security system? Yeah. I mean, they are roughing it because they don't have a boat, though. That's... that's... Oh, I want no. That's the house up there. I was gonna say, I wonder if it's some, one on the point, but that's probably yeah. That's probably there. the other house. I mean, you could see they had old rusty, crusty stuff. Well, they're they're probably they're probably like 125 years old, so yeah. They got that Daryl Morris money. All the outside fans are going in the house. Somebody's got to be home, or they just like to run their power bill up. I couldn't even afford to turn the lights on in that place. <laughs> I'd have to save all that money up for the property taxes. Every yeah. year. My property taxes go up every year. You I'll know what I was thinking? If if you're if you're what gets me is if you're on a fixed income and your income only goes up so much, it's only a matter of time before you can't afford your property taxes anymore and they take your house from you. Yep. So it seems like a scam to me. Because you're not going to be getting any raises once you really retire and stuff. I mean, little minuscule ones. But if your property tax goes up like a bunch, they're going to tax you right out of your house. They're doing that in Chicago, actually, right now. There was something on the ballot, I think I heard yesterday, that was going to raise property taxes. California's and, trying to raise theirs again, too. And they were like, oh, it's only on houses over a million dollars are going to be affected. <laughs> Everybody else is going to drop a little bit. 
but there are so many people that the value of their home that they've lived in for 30, 40 years is, is now over, over a million dollars. And it wasn't when, you know, yep, and I know. Talking about, they were showing some rough numbers and you were talking about it going from like $1,400 a year or no, $1,700 a year to almost 40 grand. See that? That's ridiculous. That? And these people don't even have a house payment because they paid their house off and they're still going to lose their house just because of the property taxes. That's, that's so, it seems so unfair. Hey, Joe Day. Jody's back in here. She says, Bobby Kitten. What's up, Bobby Kitten? You're right, James. Yeah, no, I'm telling you that that stuff, they, they kill me with that. How they could go. And then they want to they raise the value of your house all the time. But then when the housing goes down, they don't lower the value of your house back down. They keep you at where you were. I mean, that seems like a, a, a rip off right there. I, I'm telling you, it's just they're just scamming. They're going to get every penny they can out of you. If they were half as creative about with the way they are making taxes with some things to help us out. See, I actually, I've tried to drag this. Uh, there's a lot of stuff through here. Way bad right back there at the mouth yeah, there's the a lot. That's why the fish are in here, because there's a lot of debris down there. Yeah, yeah I was snagging just about every other minute. Yeah, I hate it when you got six lines out. You got to you just either just break that off and bite the bullet, or you you got to reel everything back in and go back. And I can you could usually get it unhooked, but the only time I really worry about going back is if um, my play report comes off. Yeah, but it, on the tournaments where we're only see this is going to be rough right here. Yep, because it's hitting right at that corner. Yep. But the uh, yeehaw, it's worse with wake boats. Yep. Oh god, I love them wake boats. Boy, they're really fire blowing up fireworks over there, huh? I don't know if there's a shoot. There's gotta be some sort of range. I mean, we're not Although I could do that at my house. I could shoot all day at my house. Nobody's gonna say anything. Yeah, we're not near premise. So. Yeah, I don't really thought we'd get a bite quicker than this. With everything I saw down there. Yeah. We had, we're at 13, so I said four after. We got about another five minutes, and then I'll be a liar. Brian Bro. But there he is, Brian. Oh, B catfishing. Bob came in here. The return of Bob. Yo, Bob. yo, listening and driving. Hello, fart sniffers. Hey, Bob, welcome in. You just need dragging sinkers there. I uh, have dragging sinkers. I'm gonna be like the old west. Get the sh get the sheets and animal skins out and make for clothes. Yep. Yeah, the sun's gonna the sun's gonna wipe out our power grid anyway here in the next three to five years. So we'll be you'll you'll need to be breaking out all that old school. Hunting and fishing and growing your own. Bob, are you going to get rain Saturday? They were saying, but I guess it's looking like we're not going to get as much as they were saying, but it's supposed to be really windy. Oh, you've been making fun of me? Go up and read. Awesome. Let's see. How far back? John's always John's always in drag. It's just like Ryan Hall's new video. I, I listen to Ryan Hall all the time. He's a good, good guy, good weather guy. Brian B, I wish you had to smell one of James's farts, especially when he crops dust Costco. I wasn't ignoring you, Bob. Why are you ignoring me, John? John, John, John. They <laughs> forgot about us, Bob. John's always in drag. We can say anything we want. Hey, John. John's favorite song is It's Raining Men. Uh, actually, it's comfortably numb, but anyway. Yeah, just talk, James. We ain't here. That's perfect, Bob. Watching <laughs> the sizzle. He, he, he laughs. Oh, the sky is falling. Yeah, the sun's going to take out the power grid. You'll see. It's a 12,000-year 12, yeah, 12, cycle. I'm still new at this this uh, live stuff, so. You go like this. Let me let me ask you this, the sizzle. So is the North Pole where the North Pole used to be? 
North Pole's moved hundreds of miles. You can tell it's moved because the sun. I'm telling you right now. The sun goes over my house in a completely different position in the summertime than it did when I first moved there seven years ago. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's coming. So there has been movement. And it's not even the sun. That's it's not really the sun's fault. It's the Earth's magnetic magnetic field's going to flip, and when it flips, then we ain't got no protection from the sun, and that's when the sun's going to get us. But it's okay, y'all. Before the world There's ends, I need baby. Bob, Bobby says he needs baby before the world ends. Oh, he left mine. Okay. Yeah, he said he wasn't. You know, he said you don't read. You nobody responds over on yours. Pink Floyd can't go wrong. Yeah. Nope. Yep. ACDC is my group. I like ACDC. It's a long way to the top. You want to rock and roll? Ah, uh, come on, fish. Well, I'm a liar. 16 after. Yeah, this is, well, it's going to get so bad. Polar bears are moving into the Smoky Mountains. Jody, 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 Jody. The northern lights are caused by solar flares, which is correct. And the lights are atmosphere breaking it up. Correct. Our magnetic field protecting us from those shots from the sun. But if you haven't noticed, the northern lights are now seen as far south as New Mexico and Tennessee. And that's because our magnetic field's getting weaker. And it's not fighting that stuff off like it used to. But it's all okay. You got well, well, I'll see. Stand three saw video. Yep. And we're just gonna be out here fishing during it all. No, it's not you, you, you. if the world ends, the world ain't gonna end. Just a lot of people will end. I'll have to start raising my own chickens for bait. Yeah, there you go. We got five people in. I'm gonna say hi to you since I'm ignoring you. I mean, I'm a believer in all that stuff, and I still don't prep like I should. I mean, I have some a little bit of stuff set aside, but nothing to nothing to survive if the power grid went out and not coming back up for years. If you use chicken for bait, the world needs to end. I'm with you, Bob. Last time I looked, I didn't see any chickens swimming around out here. We're going to be using chicken in a couple months. I don't use chicken. I mean, you're not going to fish the chicken tournament then? No, I'm not fishing the chicken. I'm not fishing the chicken tournament. I'm not. That's a Jody tournament there. Yeah. Little hooks, dinking them, dinking them to death. Should put a hundred fish in the boat. And that's what it is. It's a numbers tournament. That way we can foods. Yeah, I'm telling you. I mean, you look at it like this. It doesn't hurt to do all that stuff. What's it going to hurt if you have some stuff set aside just in case? But then again, if you are a prepper, you need to at least have a lot of guns and ammunition. Otherwise, you're just prepping for somebody else. It's going to come by and take all your stuff. Yep. It ain't going to be pretty. It's like I got a daughter out in San Diego. They don't even have a water supply. The power goes out there. They got no water. And there's so many people never make it. Nah, I like chicken for channel rats. Yeah, I, I try. I try to stay away from the Chanel cats. Yeah, definitely my least favorite thing to catch. Dark side of the moon. I actually saw. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. I mean, but there's a um, a tribute band called Brit Floyd. Last year, my wife took me to the 50 year anniversary of Dark Side. And man, let me tell you, that was, it was amazing. And they're coming back this year. They've got a 38th <laughs> anniversary of uh, another Floyd album from the 90s. I can't wait for next year when they do, um, oh, what's the name of that album? Wish You Were Here. That'll be the 50, next year will be 50 years of Wish You Were Here since that album came out. And Wait. that's one I just can't wait to go to. Look at listen to this comment by Jody. Yeah, he thinks he's stocking up and storing stuff, but he keeps it in the spare bedroom that I sleep in. I've been eating good. <laughs> <laughs> she gets those midnight snacks. Yeah. Oh, come on, fish. 
Don't just give James one. Hey, Catfish one. Ed in the house. What's up, Ed? Double hook angling popping in. Thank you, double hook. Everybody saying hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. I'm good on guns and ammo. Yeah, I think I got it covered. I hunt and grow more food than I do. Yeah, I, I, I'm putting in a good garden this year. I didn't have a very, I had just a couple like tomato plants and stuff last year, but I'm going to try to grow some stuff and can some stuff this year. That's my goal this year is to do some of that. But I lost all my guns in a boating accident. Yeah, well, I, of course, I don't have any gun. I don't have any guns anymore, but I was prepared until that boating accident. Yeah. And I would never have any unregistered guns. You know, that's not going to happen. Outside Raccoon Mountain. Yep. As a Watts Bar thunderstorm kicked up, thought it, thought the boat was going to sink. Had to throw away everything heavy. Danny, 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 who? Danny, Danny, Danny. Did I see Danny Stone oh, Outdoors? Danny Stone. Oh, now, man. now the fish are going to bite. Let's go fish. Danny's here. Wait, chicken tournament? Is that a numbers game? That changes everything. Yeah, I won't be in that one. I'm not going to be in the fish somebody else's waters. I'm not going to be in the bumping one. I'm not doing, uh, what was the other one? You know, Will. No, I, that's fine. That's a, that's a gimme. I mean, you could you could win that and not even catch a fish. So you got to be in that. No. <laughs> yeah. You don't even have to catch a fish. You could win it. I'm not going to do <laughs> No, what's 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 the other one I wasn't gonna do? They have a oh a dragon tournament. I'm probably not gonna do that one either. Oh, of course I'm doing that one. Uh, why? You never catch any fish? Really? Dragging? Do you? <laughs> oh well, I guess summertime's your time. Spring, sir, spring so, summer, so, and fall. So, so what? You you know you know how to fish down, like down, three down, months down. out of the year? No, I fish like <laughs> nine months out of the year. There's about three months that I just struggle. Nah, January, you'll 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 get it all down. January, February, and March have been absurd. Danny Stone. I'm out here trying to get that fish, Danny, so you can start catching again. If I get walking better, I'll have a garden. Yeah, I hear you. And I saw one of the cover bands with the light show. Yeah, a lot of them they do the light show for um uh the wall. Yeah, the earthquake sucked all my ammunition down in the hole in the ground. There we go, Lance, the cool guy. Hawaiian fisherman's in the house. Hello, Hawaii. Aloha. My gun probably do. <laughs> yeah, Jody's gun's probably due for a cleaning. Yeah, probably since last time she brought it over, the ammunition was green in it. No, I'm serious. I, I bet that gun wouldn't even, wouldn't even a shot. Mm. Nothing like proper maintenance. Yeah, that sucked, James. Mine were in the boat too. Y'all notice he skipped the comment where I said he owes me a 90 pound. I, I didn't see it, Danny. I'm sorry. I, I would never skip one of your comments. You're my brother from uh, that other mother. Danny boy. Danny, you're the whole reason we do lives. Why I know. Not read your channel? It's the only reason we're up. We don't care about nobody else. Yeah. Danny's a man, Danny Stone, Danny Stone. Hey there, Joe Tate girl. He right, missed Danny, my question too. What was your question, Jody? Yeah, we're ready to move to the uh, hot water fresh outlet. Bait. Yep, fresh bait, hot water outlet. Sweet, you fishing tomorrow or will or will you be at the shop, Bob? You want to go bumping tonight, Ed? Yep, be your last night because they're dropping the current down. And there'll be no bald Bobby bumping or bumping Bobby bald or, yeah, whatever, something bald like that. Bald bumping cat. <laughs> yeah. I'm still cracking up when they were talking about the catfish conference. They go, yeah, did you go to that crappy catfish conference? <laughs> no, you got to put crappy after the yeah. cat. Oh, there you go. There you go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Nope. He let go. You're too slow. He'll come back. He'll come back. Just when we were talking about leaving. He's going to come back. You watch. That's a, that's a second fish. John's missed it. No, no, I'm kidding. He wasn't on there anyway. 
Got those rubber hooks on that rod. Trying to give him a fighting chance. You know, I, I learned this from Joe Biden. If you whisper, you yell. It, it, it gets your point across better. I'm telling you, folks. That was a bite on one rock right there. John was up like a cat, just just fast. Faster than me, anyway. Swing and a miss. Yep, and he wasn't there. What's up, Fazazzles? Says, you shut your mouth, James. Now, I'm telling you, Bob, you go look at the thing, the schedule. They're, they're dropping the current down. I paid him big money to drop that current down for Saturday, so you can't go bumping. <laughs> Yeah, when we have a tournament and nobody's catching fish, maybe we need to have time, um, races to the rods. Races to the rods. Your rods are racist? Is that what you said? I want to check my, make sure I'm not ignoring nobody in my chat. Is there anybody still on your I chat? Think I think there's like one. I'm back, I'm, I'm back up to almost 30. And that's because Stan's in both. Jody <laughs> girl. I, I got to go back and see if you, because they said I didn't read her, her, her comment. You all notice he skipped. I got to go back up and find Danny's comment. Earthqu earthquake ate my God. That sounded like a cougar or something. <laughs> oh, hold on. I've got a. Somebody made a comment? Quick. No, I've got a. My daughter. Oh. That text me. I see what's up. Yep. Better see what's up. Man, I'm going way back, Danny. Oh, there it is. Lunch break. You you owe me a 90-pounder. I know, Danny. I know. All right, what was Jody's question? Are you going to go fishing with me tonight? Uh, I think I have to drive up to Knoxville and stuff and go meet somebody. Right, so I don't know. My daughter has choir tonight. Chorus tonight. Chorus. Shut your mouth, James. For sizzle. Okay, Danny, I got to get back to work. If you guys can't catch any fish, at least try not to fall out of the boat. And I ain't falling out of the boat. We caught one earlier. We had a 22.2 pound blue cat. So the skunk's off the boat. Hey, somebody paid them off. Somebody had to do it, Bobcat. I can't have you out there bumping in your glory. Horsing in them big fish. Can't have that. That's a no. no. Well, that's not what I said, Jody. I said I might have to go up to Knoxville. I don't know yet. Come on, fish. We're giving this uh, two more minutes. Then it'll be 10.30 or 1.30. 1.30 to 10.30. There you go. Got to get the bumping going. Try anything right now. Come on, man. Let's go. I'll tell you a lot of times. It's funny. It seems like I do that, and then I. People pay big money for them bumping boxes. Have you seen them? Yeah. On Amazon and stuff. So there got to be something to them. Some suckers got to buy them. Relax a little bit more. You're fishing. Hey, Jeff Beal. What's up? Yeah, but you're fishing live, and you awesome folks out there watching want to see some fish caught. Yeah, you guys want to see action, so we got to try to jump up there when we get a bite. It's a gorgeous day. Oh, John's John's offline. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Oh no, there it is. I said my mic lost connection. Hopefully, you guys can hear me again. Yeah, I said my mic lost connection. And I'm pretty relaxed, Jeff. I'm pretty much laid back. Oh. 63 seconds, fish. Let's go. Yep. And then all your free food's gone. I can't believe that one guy just one little nibble and probably a Chanel. And then Chanel oh, cats. Up there with a little bouncy. Little, little little bounce. Kind of what I've noticed with, with channel cats, you get a weird little bounce on the tip. You know what they do is they grab they grab the bait and then they like jerk and twist, yeah. tearing pieces off of it because they can't get that much in their mouth. That's why you get that bounce with it. Bounce with it, baby. Of course, you have to play it off. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Gonna put you on the TV 
have to call the lovely V. Well, there's two hours on hold just to have somebody finally answer and just hang right up on you. So you got to go back into the queue. Sit there for a half hour, 45 minutes on hold. And then you hear it, hear it finally click over and it's click, 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 click. They just right. hang. Oh my God, that sets me off. Double hook angling. Jeff, do you normally make the fish pay for food, James? Do they carry a visa? Yeah, they're paying. They're paying for food. Yeah, they pay by getting their picture taken. Yep. And getting us a whole Everything's thing. give and take, Stan. Everything's give and take. Double your stick it hasn't arrived yet. No, double your stick. Your stick has not arrived yet. Jody says she needs bait. Yeah, so you could sell it. I think I am going fishing. Double hook angling's going fishing. Well, good luck. Tell the fish to beware. All right, we're moving. Yep. Time to reel in, folks. I got to set you down. Okay. Now I got to dig out my charger. Charger. What do you have, Android or iPhone? Ah, uh, Android. I might have a C-type. No, I got it. I got it. Okay. I brought, I brought, I brought my stuff. Well, I have a set. I keep a C-type for my GoPro. You know, it's a GoPro. Yep. Yeah. What do you got, Apple? Of course you do. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Electron, Mr. Technical, Mr. 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 Dude, I used to only be Android, and then I'm not learning a whole new Apple, thing. Apple came out. It, well, it started Apple because of working in cell phones. Yeah, my kid drank the juice, and he's all Apple now, and he's all um, weird. And but I stopped with Apple because I wanted the availability to be able to make ringtones and do cool stuff like that, like you could do on Android. You can't do ringtones on Apple. You can now, but the issue was... Hey, tell me that wasn't a Chanel cat. Oh, that was definitely a Chanel. The grab and tear. So you go ahead and pull the bait off and leave it. No. Really. Yeah, I guess we are going to change it up. Yeah, it's time for fresh. We're freshening it up. Yeah, I hate that you throw the bait in, you watch some fish swim up before it even gets out of sight and gobble it up. All this, all this playing on your rods is what the problem is. Paddles and floats. And... I go old school. I, 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 you I, know, you I float on your stuff. Well, if I'm dragging, but if I'm not dragging now, because I figure I'm old school. I'm just like bait, the weight, the hook. I change too much stuff. Too much stuff. And honestly, I, 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 I've done. I've ran rods with like floats. I've had that bait's going right in the drift off. Perfect. Oh, it missed it. <laughs> I run, I run, I ran with and without. I've never noticed any difference, really. Although the one time I did notice a difference was when we fished that, uh, the winter blues, all the flatheads we caught were on floats. Yeah. Daryl's floats. The, flat. the flatheads like, the, they want that bait up off the bottom because their eyes are on the top of their head. So they're always looking up. So if your bait's up, you'll get them. Where that's the only time I've noticed it floats really work good. Jeff, I will just send another one. I think I'm going fishing, Jeff. Cool. If I receive two of them, I'll give one away. All right. We're getting ready to make that move, folks. All right. Getting ready to get loud. Yep. Someone, and I'm actually going to mute mine, too, so we could talk about you guys. <laughs>
You go, Stan three still in here? If he is, I want to go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boats within a couple hundred yards of us all fishing. Crazy. How many people fish out here? And here goes Johnny scurrying up to put that trolling motor out. I'm telling you, this guy's a trained professional. He has got his routine down. We will be fishing right on the uh, drop off in the hole. But there's no warm water because the uh, nuke power plant is off. Can't believe they've unplugged it. Gotta cut bait. I may have to move up a few feet. Gotta cut bait, gotta cut bait. I guess I could be in the back cutting bait, huh? Double hook, yeah, what do we, did I miss any chat? Let's see, we decided. Yeah, I decided I'm gonna try to get out. Y'all be blessed. Bye, receipt, okay. Okay, we're good, we're back. I'm gonna go back and cut bait. You guys wait here. Yeah, still got two of you. Thanks, guys. Sometimes when you move, you lose folks. In a little while, I'm going to uh, turn mine off, but no, that's a watch on here. I'm just going to get a little better position. All right. Hold on. And here, I use it just to go up. Getting ready to go up. Do what now? I use it just to spend from up here. Oh, there's somebody horsing in a fish behind us. Look at that. He's, doing, he's battling it out. Yep. Yep. That's a good bend in that rod. There it is. Let's see what he's got. It looks like a little tiny channel cat. <laughs> hey, but it's a fish. All right, give me one sec. Did you uh, set up anything fresh? Well, I have some skip there. You need uh, some more shad. Yeah. All right. I just anchored We're pretty much right at the top. Yeah, that's why I say you just suspend fish here. See, I've never been in good suspended. Well, that's all about to change. Nice and deep here, too. Yeah, there's still some shad out here. Looks like I said, I mean, I'll just cut another one out. It's fresh. Play the heart. You can cast, you can suspend, doesn't matter. Well, I mean, I figure if we'll suspend off the side and still catch a couple back. Yeah. It's my I mean, I can adjust those rod holders to yep. where I could. It's gold. It's gold. And it's piece of mud. Well, like you said, with an 8,000 pound boat, kind of need. What's an axe motor you put on? This. Oh, yeah. It says 225 on the safety thing. That's... You may have to add um, flow pods on the back if you're trying to go too fit. Oh, yeah, because you're going to sink the back down. Yeah. I didn't even think about the weight, actually. I'm just thinking about the thrust on the. <laughs> 
but you'll thrust on the which is a yeah. Yeah, the good thing about these Kuma reels, they definitely hold some line. You could be in deep water and still cast way out. That and uh, dragging. Yeah. Because like you said, you know, sometimes my dragon lines are through the dam. <laughs> Yeah, the chaos is definitely coming. Yeah. See, she likes Dana likes the smaller, the smaller reels. I like the bigger reels. I like the smaller reels are good. They're really good for Jody because you can only crank the drag down so hard that you're not going to break your line. Or on, yeah. on the other ones, you can crank down your line so hard that you'll break it. Jody, she likes to horse them fishing. She don't want them getting off, so she's trying to get them in the boat. But I mean, she'd be like hunkering down. Okay. And that's how you cross those other two lines. How old is that? Pull the jaw. Man, I did not have the thumb on that one at all. It's not that much of that. Hi, honey, if you're back in here. So where did you get the freeze-dried skills from? Since you're just a front for the, you had to go, go to some candy store and get them? Well, I mean, it does say North York Paint Company on them, so take that how you will, I guess. <laughs> well, I mean, you got to at least make it look somewhat realistic. <laughs> hey, Jody, are you looking? There's your pontoon boat right there. It's got a uh, full enclosure on it. It's one of the shorter boats, and I'm real big. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, but if she has a full enclosure, she can't fish 1,200 rods. Oh, uh, she'd manage. She'll double them up or something. Got to waste all the bait you can, you know. Burrito Cat, Danny, Jeff, D-A-H. Doggin' Outdoors is in here now. Oh, dog, and dog, 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 and one outdoor. Sorry, Bobby's <laughs> complaining about something. I have some Peen three twenty GTI that are huge reels. Oh, pen at P. She said she's making sour skittles right now. Ooh, that sounds good too. You too, Dave. Enjoy fishing. Double hook. Y'all be blessed. Well, we hope we gonna be that is the time. snow cone pontoon boat. Yeah, could be. And Don Johnson has left you and come over here. Oh, no, that was Don R. You had, right? Don Long. Don Long. Don Long. Afternoon, all. Afternoon. We're getting wake washed. Wake washed. We kind of yeah. anchored in the nose into the wind here. Yeah. wonder if I need to put a sock out. Yeah, we seem to be holding the same direction. Rally. That's yeah, the best time for a fish to hit because I ain't getting up. Yep. 39. I got 28 people watching. Nice, nice. I think I have two. You said you got a cord? Three. You? you got a cord, maybe? Uh, yeah, exactly. I think, cord I, brought, I think the cord I brought, I think the cord I brought is only going to work on a it's like a C to C. And my battery pack has got to have the USB type plug. I think I'm, you know what? I might have two. I might have two, two cords in my. Where's my black cord? Oh, never mind. I got it. I got it. I got it. I brought my cigarette lighter thing. So that's going to work. Let me plug in here. We got any fish yet? Why haven't we got a fish yet? Should be any second. So this one at the bottom is a cigarette. Yep. But yep. it's not a rapid. It doesn't have to be a rapid. 
A rabid? Yeah, I installed, I put a bunch of the USB things in my boat. I put them all around. Oh boy, I got everybody get everybody seasick. Burrito Catfish and Light says, we ordered new rods now. Then I'm gonna find a reel that is good, but don't look like crap with it. And I'm not really too concerned about the looks of my stuff though, you know, just as long as it works. But that's just me. I mean, we all like to look good. I mean, I rugs. They tend to work very well. Yeah, I like them. Well, that yeah, you get you get in that weekly thing if you win yeah. some money. So they're gonna pay me. Heck yeah. Jody's in the hunt this week. It'd be interesting to see if she can make another day and a half. That'd be awesome. Waiting for one of these suspend rods to touch the water because if it touches the water in my boat, it's yep. serious. <laughs> Oh boy, I'll tell you, this is nice. You get the you get the breeze through here. Even on a hot day, it's probably okay under here, huh? I like the hard top. So it's not too bad. I've actually so there's snaps on the sides. Yep. I actually took a sunscreen from Costco and cut it down and added snaps. So that's good though. Because Dana burns really easy. So if she needs to hang yeah. down on that side, it keeps the sun off of her. That's good. And then we added fans. Because, you know, if you get a breeze like we have now, you're not really feeling it below this glass. Yeah, I go, well, I got I run my generator and run a big house fan. That does that helps a lot with the bugs at night, too. We've got a couple of those contractor fans, the rechargeable yeah. ones. Yeah, now I got a big ass, big old house fan. You fire the generator up, I put it up front and then close the door so you can't really hear it. It's a pretty quiet generator anyway says did catfish hunters tv lure you on his boat with candy james there's there's a there's been a promise of candy but i, I haven't seen it yet uh, it was left in the truck conveniently to to, yeah, com it is. to complete his his what would you call it his cover yeah to, <laughs> to, i was thinking they got a fancy word for that though to complete the appearance of his cat candy company He had to go online and buy some freeze dried Skittles from somebody, and then he's he re he rebagged it into his his style bag. Oh. Fish, right? Yeah, lots of fish. I told you, but... probably sturgeon. Hey, I'll take one of those if they want to buy. It. I'm definitely never caught one of those. I got one in my favorite place, not the fish too. Jody drug me out to Kingston, and I got a sturgeon. That ain't too bad. A sturgeon. I was actually thinking of when I come out here catfish and just have one rod with a treble hook on it and put um, night crawlers on it and throw it out because I hear night crawlers. Well, we, we, we went back. We went back and there was a bunch. We marked a bunch of them again, I th at least the ones we think were them. And uh, we ran a whole bunch of worms on them and we didn't get nothing. Got my fingers in the picture. I know I got my fingers in the picture. Be quiet. I'll turn the camera over and that way my fingers won't be in the picture. I'll put them on this side. <laughs> Any suggestions on a smaller one? Smaller reel? Uh, those, I guess the small ones, the PC funds, they're they're reasonably priced, I guess. People like them. The chaos, yeah. The, the PC chaos. chaos ones. The one on that reel, that green rod back there. So that's a 60 on the green rod. And then on my wife's rod, she has 250s. And the Abu 6000. 6500s? My, my, yeah, it might have been 65. Yeah, they're 65. Yeah, I, I like those. She does too. When he came out fishing. Although they, although they don't hold a whole lot of line. Nope. You got to use. I use 40. You got to use braid. Nah, I'm not using braid. Braid, you know why I don't use braid? Not because it, it if you drag rocks, it'll, it'll break. Is, is I don't use braid because it tangles up so dang bad. This child, man. I don't know. What child's that? Yours? Mine. And what's the matter? She keeps texting me when I'm fishing. How old is she? 21. 
Thanks, James. What did I do, Jody? All right, I'm back. I love the Mad Cat reels. Yeah, I, I'm I'm a, becoming a bigger fan of the Mad Cat reels because they hold more line than the sixty than the Abus do. They got pretty good drag on them. They got the power handle. They cast really good. I've caught a couple fish on them. I haven't after, caught any monsters after yet. I see somebody catch a 60, 70 pound flathead. Yeah. Uh, then I'll I'll look harder. Because yeah, well, I just want to see how they hold up too. I want to catch like five or six real big fish and see yeah, if it doesn't burn the drag out on them. Fish. Yep. We're stand three. I want to complain about all the people out here fishing. There's one, two, three, four, five, five. Five boats within a hundred yards of us. You just can't get away from them here. No. I was out out there on the mighty James five days. Never saw another boat. Only people out there that fish are the stands in Austin. That's it. Oh, there you go. Kind of weird that that boat has a seat in the back. It's not really a fishing boat. Control boat. Motor on it. Yeah, let's talk about turning a ski boat into a fishing boat. But that's probably where the uh, pole goes for the towing the skier, and they put a chair in it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I can't do the bass boat. They got fall out sooner or later. But yeah, it. it aggravates me when those wobble back and forth and <laughs> like i said i would have just wrapped duct tape around them and then to where it got like it was a tighter fit and then crammed them in there but that doesn't change anything on the left and right with the rocking of the boat because i had i had tried i had tested that if it fit but in there still, tight enough it wouldn't would, really it still has a slight wobble from the weight of a rod and stuff. wow i don't know I mean, you, you can deal with it. That's all right. Hey, take down rod holders. I'm looking, or I mean, multi bars. I'm looking for a sponsor. <laughs> you get those, get the angle ones like I got from. Uh, you go with the monster. They got the, the triangle ones that go in the back that I got on mine. They'd be perfect for yours. The, one of the reasons I was re realistically looking at them is because apparently it's a bolt you pull out and the entire thing comes off the base and then you have your flat surface. So if I'm okay, I got you because we do have we do have some tow behinds and, you know, stuff like that for when the kids are wanting to go out and stuff. But I mean, we do mainly fish. We don't do a lot of pleasure in like that. But that was one of the reasons I had originally looked at them. Yeah, they're expensive though. Yeah, 450 shit. Yep. And that's 450 each one, right? No, that's for a pair. Oh, okay. Is that for a pair? Yeah. And then it can hold four up to four rod holders yep. on it. My buddy's got, got those on his boat. Super adjustable. I mean, angle up, down, right, left, tilt, so you know. Yeah, originally those were, these were in these. Okay. Which are 90s. These are 45s. So in the 90s, I didn't have that rocking issue. Yeah, but, but then they're straight up and down. Well, I mean, this is adjustable, but I needed to move over because I wanted to add two more rod holders. Okay, Jody, I got you. Well, but if you look, this is really all I have. Is these couple here that Come on, yeah, eight rods is enough, dude? Well, I played on Dragon Seven this year, and just having those six was Dragon Six. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So I put those down so I could figure out where I want my seven to be. What's that in the water back there? Swimming? Something's in there. Twenty yards behind the boat, maybe. Looks like. Kind of, if from my angle, looking straight off the green pole, about yeah, 20 yards I'm out. Right the green pole. I don't I know. See ripples in the water. And... Yeah, but it just looks like the, the, there's one spot that has, like, something was sitting there. I don't know. Just me. Maybe it's one of those diving ducks. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I usually do good when the ducks come, when the ducks are coming around. 
Oh, I should be reading chat, huh? Don Johnson, the zizzle. Heck yeah, Jody. Heck yeah, Jody, what? I love, I love my Mad Cats real. Heck yeah, Jody. Uh, don't the zizzle. That's crazy. That and that many people out during the week. I know. Tell me about it. I've seen it worse out here. I know, but this is like a Thursday, not a Friday. It's Thursday midday. And there's probably there's probably been a dozen boats out here. And the power plant's not even on, so there's no hot water. No change. What was I out last Wednesday, I think? There was a ton of boats out. I'm shocked I don't see as many pleasure boaters out here. Hey, it's all business. They're all out here. It's all you nothing get, but fishermen. You get the... Uh... The old couple who comes out and just drives their boat from one dam to the other and then goes home. Yeah, well, you ain't, it's not really, the weather ain't been that great like this. Like, if you get a few more days like today. We were like that in the middle of winter time. <laughs> Dana and I were out. They had all their enclosures down, and they were still trooting up and down the river. Yep, got to get out. Who wants to sit time, in the house all the time? Fish the deep water, and that's where they're at, of course. Who wants to sit in the house all the time? Not me. Come on, fish, get out here. Let's go, big blue. Come on. Thanks for the info. I'll look into those reels. Either that or an Abu 6500, but they get expensive. Yeah, they do. Well, I mean, they make they make different levels of them. So you could get some of them for like 70, 80 bucks, but... They're not as good as the other ones. Then they got some that are like 125. Then they got some that are like 250. So I don't know what the deal of that is. Yep, you could suspended rod you, you can lead the bait to water, or you could put the bait in water, but that ain't gonna make the yeah, fish. Yeah, you bite. can't make the fish bite. That's right, because I mean, and there's we're marking all sorts of fish. That's those floats got the got the got the bait too high up off the water bottom. I mean, no, I'm kidding. They're they're up off the bottom. I know. Seven, eight foot off the yep. bottom. So. Yep. You would think that could be your carp. That could be your your sturgeon. That could be your what else? How hangs out in the bottom? Yeah, sometimes you get bass hanging out low. Those look bigger than bass, though. So. Yeah. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. We got to do the here, kitty, kitty. Yep, Jeff Beal. I think I'm James awesome. I can't do it the way you used to be a beer commercial at one point in his life. I used to be a beer commercial. I do beer commercials. Be about well, being a beer commercial. Sure, you can pay me being a beer commercial. I would do the bitter, Wait, bitter you beer face. Wait, you in the real, real men of real men. Yeah, real, genius. real men of genius. We salute you, Mister Catfisherman. Yep. Sitting in the hot sun, catching nothing, baking all day long, spending more time catching bait than you do catfish. Here's to you. <laughs> yep, that's no doubt either. <laughs> yeah, real men of genius. Well, we can be a real man of genius and be out of here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're ready. We're ready for the drag. Yep. Yeah. What's my favorite? The old commercial, the bitter beer face, Keystone. Comes in a can or come, tastes like it's in a bottle, but comes in a can. They had that guy that could make all those weird faces. Bitter beer face. There it is. Now it's a day. Rebel River Cats is in the house. What's up, Rebel? I like taco salad inventor guy. Taco salad inventor guy. Or wait, were you one of the Budweiser frogs? Yeah. <laughs> Budweiser. Back when Budweiser was good. I don't know, man. I can never get into the beer. Well, I could get in always, anything with alcohol in it. I could get into. Always, I was a liquor guy. I'm a vodka cranberry guy. Vodka OJ, if it's going to be vodka. Then uh, I could do. Uh, I like tequila. Oh, the El the Elf Piss. You never seen that Elf Piss? It's a Fireball. Oh no. 
I seen on online they had a little picture of an elf and he was peeing into a uh, Listen, fireball bottle. Me, Jack, and Jim had a fight when I was in the Navy, and, and we Jim. don't talk anymore. Okay? You know who I don't talk they to? They're not allowed to come to my house. <laughs> They're not allowed to message me. Jack and Jim. To this day, to this day, Jack Daniels. If I smell it, my hair stands up on my yes. arms. I drank a fifth of Jack Daniels in forty-five minutes on my sixteenth birthday. I was I was throwing up in the shower for two days. They should have took me to the hospital. I probably almost died. And to this day, if I that and I was sixteen years old, to this day, if I even smell Jack Daniels, yeah, my body starts to freak out. Yeah, I can't smell most whiskeys. It, it's like that. I'm not. Yeah, I, I can't. I don't like the Browns. I, I'm the I'm the clear guy. When I was in my twenties, it was all about the whiskey. I could still drink tequila though, and I've gotten sick off tequila oh, once it. or twice. <laughs> Dana's like that. She hates tequila. Even the smell of it, she's. And I don't. I'm not talking like I drink salsa. Now, I'm not <laughs> drinking Don Julio 1942, okay? Because I'm really not a money launderer. But <laughs> nothing like you know, dragon looking for active catfish. Says North of three, the, uh, Northern View Outdoors. Trace Generations makes a really nice, smooth tequila that's reasonably priced. And then, of course, I drink a lot of coffee with my Bailey's. I add a little coffee into the Baileys just to make it. Now, I okay, you talk coffee. You know what a white Russian is? Yeah. Instead of using cream to make it a white Russian, I, I've used white chocolate liqueur. <coughs> Good. Packs a punch. Yeah. So you have the white chocolate in the coffee, and it's... it's and Jody doesn't drink at all. She smelled one of my drinks one time and got all goofy and was falling around the house and stuff but yeah and uh, it's probably a good thing that she don't dana she don't likes drink. dana likes sailor jerry which i guess why she likes me <laughs> i don't like sailor jerry at all as a, a spiced rum personally like i said i could do all the i could do rum tequila i could do vodka you could do even gin i could do a little gin but when you start getting into hennessy and jack daniels and what's the one my brother used to drink that rot gut stuff of uh, smooth as silk uh God, what was that oh, begin with a k oh, i can't even think of it now it's horrible now, Kessler's, Kessler's, uh, smooth as silk. Yeah, my eye. Now, I remember being young and drinking uh, Mad Dog 2020. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mad Dog 2020, of course. The, the, the nice wine that has a vapor come off of it. That you could uh, remove paint from your coffee. Yeah, the other thing that I don't no longer drink is I will not drink any alcohol that will sustain a flame. Because if, it, if you could put a lighter to it and it burns and it's fuel, it's not something to drink. All your... Uh, 151s and your uh, ever clear and that was the other thing i drank a lot of in the military gold schlager bar and it was i forget what it was called but it was called a royal something it was a shot but it was rumplemints peppermint schnapps oh, yeah gold schlager yeah. and floated with 151 yeah Ooh. yeah was, uh, seen a lot of guys burn off their mustaches trying to do them flaming shots drinker in the navy I don't drink too much anymore. I, I I didn't drink for a long, long time, but now I drink a lot. But I just think it's because I'm in so much pain all the time. Uh, that's, that's really good all right, James. All right, we're this moving. Is, this is. We are moving. I don't care what you guys say. We're gonna move right now. That's it. Because uh, we're not. There's lots of fish here, but they're not eating. So we we're gonna go have, try to. You know, you know, drag Chester Frost. I've tried Chester Frost before. Too. You could go drag this. You could go down the. Yeah, right yeah. there if you want it. I mean, it, it don't matter. Well, it's easy. you drag against the current. Drag where you want, when you want, how you want, because you're the man. All right, let's uh, reel them in. And let's go ahead and get rid of the baits. We'll go completely. And we're going completely with new baits again, folks, because we're rich in bait. Because Bobcat don't need no bait. Man, it, it, you know, the problem is I'm still telling you it's too nice of a day. Boy, the Seagate, you reel in three times and the bait's here. Oh, yes. Yes. That, that is my favorite reel. 
Is it? Yeah. I had one. I sold it at the, the swap meet this year. Well, you had the non-level one. Yeah. Yeah, I've got two of those in my drawer. Uh, I like the non level wine. I like them, but at nighttime, it's it's about impossible to see. I had a 50 big mic up for me to put on one of his huge mad cats. He threw it on there and cast that out. He must have cast like 150 yards deep. <laughs> You've got what, the 12 foot? I think that's what it was. It might have been a 14. That's Danny Stone. He's got that man. He can cast all the way across the river. Uh, go ahead and pull the weights on, please. No, now you're talking. All right. Well, I'm going to you put him in a cup, in one of the cup holders. Over. Well, I figure if I'm going to end up dragging, I'm going to put dragon weights on everything, of course. Oh, there you go. I see you're crimping now. I think crimping. Crimping and pimping? Not a big I've been crimping for over a year. Not a big Maybe yeah. more than that. I don't know. Crimp down on the line. You think it pinches the line, make a weak spot, but everybody can do fine with them. Once again, just more and more, more gadget, more stuff you gotta have. Like, right. Give me a weight, tie a knot, a hook, bait. Well, I only ever used peg floats. I never used Demon Dragons because I was always like, I don't want to lose yeah. a seven dollar <laughs> Demon Dragon, a three dollar hook. Yeah, no, I know. I hear you. No. Know, but but I started using them. I can see when you drag, I could see using uh using the demon dragons and stuff, because then then it's gonna the rattle might come into play. Dude, my favorites is all the Pumas. You see that power handle I put on that? Yeah. One? I want to put a power, couple power handles. I got one uh, 6500 that doesn't have, that has a real tiny handle on it. I would like to put a power handle on it. Yeah, she likes the tiny. All right, that's got a regular. Yep. So I got everybody and their mother's going to be up around my neck of the woods starting today for the King Cat tournament. Yeah. Up in Kingston. All right. Well, three of you in here, we're going to move. I'm going to mute. Um, we're going to make a semi long run. We're going to go back into Chester Frost and drag. We're going to go drag Chester around. All right, and you guys heard them. We're gonna go drag. Boy, that thing just angry. It's ready to go. Go get him. Yeah. All right, I'm sitting down. It's all safe now. What chat I miss and then cry about it. What am I crying about? I bet I would get in a fight. No, I think Jody would be a crying drunk. Yeah, she don't need to drink. Angry drunk. Yeah, she's got a buzz one or two times. She's like kind of a lappy, wanting to dance, act like she can dance and stuff. Drunk. It's like Captain Morgan or De Serrano. <laughs> yeah, she likes Demoretto. Now, that's something I used to drink when I was younger. Alabama Slammers. Yeah. Southern uh, Punch Planners or... Punch. Uh, the. I had a cement mixer one time. What's, it, what's the what's the what's the iced tea? Day. Iced teas, those Long Island iced teas, all that stuff that's got like twelve shots of booze in it. Oh, I love a Long Island iced tea. Let me tell yeah. you. Yeah. That's one of my favorite. So, what I do is I'll take the Long Island, I'll put all the liquors in, and then I'll just pour lemonade in there. Yeah, they make the yeah they make a bunch of. Got to do your five white shots. Hit it, Hal. All right, we're on the move. Gonna mute you out.
the most interesting man in the year of the year. Yeah, I like the Dos Equis guy. He's pretty cool. Hey, what's up, Mike? We go back to view that motor so. Wow. We're getting ready to set up the drag, fish in the Mid-South, welcome. Like I said, Mike Samps, Mike Samson in the house. Man, to have money, wouldn't it be nice? Just walk down, do your boat that's on a lift, lower it back down you in the know, water. I don't even need a house. I just, have you seen someone, okay, like that boat house over there that's fully enclosed? Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have your house. You can have one of the guys. Just give me a boat house. <laughs> yeah. It's just me, Dan, and our 200 pound dogs. That's all we need. Well, my dog. So. Man, I just can't imagine what these places cost. And then upkeep on them has got to be just outrageous. Right, so I still have my motor on, but we're coming back here in the Chester Cross, and we're going to uh, drag out. We're going to drag out. Drag out! This is where I put Dana on her first, like, 33 pound, I think it was, blue cat. That was her TV for the longest time. And John guaranteed fish on his drag, so... Again, you already got the guaranteed fish. You got the first. One. No, you okay. said you said guaranteed on the drag. So you see how it goes back for a ways. Yep. When you get near that big boat house that's on the right hand you're in side, two foot of the... you're shallower than that, and there's huge trees there. Oh, that's the flat only place hole, I've flat ever hole. ran aground. 
That's flathead hole though, big trees. Luckily, stuff. I was standing on the bow of the there boat. There you go, a little closed in place there too. I was standing on the bow of the boat, so I managed to see it and had Dana stop, so we didn't end up going over and catching our motor on it. Man, look at these places. Some houses here. I couldn't even afford to build a boat dock. <laughs> these people have. That is just nuts. He's turning around. He's looking like a trained professional here. He's getting all set up. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's all set up. Set up. Oh, still the Elvis tune. I hope you all get a hundo. Yeah, that'd be nice. I got to catch a 90 so Danny can start catching fish again. I'll let him do his little uh, shimmy up to the front of the boat. Oh, man. Here he goes. You got me cutting bait. You've already putting me to work. I swear, this guy like it. Where's your whip? Cut up. Hey, what am I doing? Hey, I'll tangle up in your cord. Stop it. Look at that. Bring it off. Okay, we're going. There you go. I'm cutting bait. Knock it off. Wait there. My wife putting all the way at the bottom. White ass. <laughs> yeah, that's what Dana's 49 pounder to win that golf one came on. Now, Joe fishes white bass, catches stuff on it all the time. I never catch anything on white bass for some reason. Because my mind, it's a, it's a mind thing. See, I don't catch anything on bluegill. Oh, I've caught just tons of like, I've caught tons of fish down this area. Uh, one, two, three, let's see, four, five, six. Yep, that should be it. Four people in here. Thank you. Thank you. Getting uh, set up, kind of getting lined up, and then I'm going to start getting everything out. Trying to play with the wind right now. Can I tell you how much I love the weather, man? Light and variable. Yeah. Light and variable definitely no, seems like 10 to 20. No, no <laughs> good wind today. And where do we get these big shad at? Uh, at the dam. Throwing the net? Yep. Yep, yep. A lot of people there? Nope. You just throw it, don't let it hit the bottom? Oh, yeah. I mean, there are certain spots that I know to throw at. 
because I've I've fished it for a while now. Jesus wind. Let me get a sock out real quick because it's hard to just even get in the right motion to start going. And we got skipjack on one side, we got chat on the other. You want to go that way? I, I, I'm dealing with the wind right now. He's dealing with the wind right now. You feel it? Yeah, that Maybe good. it's blowing good. That way. It's blowing strong considering we're not going to have any wind today. Got to stab the motor straight. It actually makes a difference. No, oh, it's a huge difference. I know. I always forget and I'm all going, why, why I'm going so all right. All right. You want to uh sit down? I will start to... No, he's he's got it. He's got it. I'm getting let me get out of the man's way. He's making it happen. Yeah, I, I have to put it on He's got to put it on a certain order. Good, no problem. I never used planner boards before. Right. End stream. I don't want to end stream. Holy cow, there's Joe. <laughs> Don't scare them out now. Uh-oh, Austin. I see Austin's at Brian Ward's in here. Let me go back. Austin's in here, Fish and Fever. Mr. Rogers is in here. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Don't worry. I will put you on some fish tonight. We are going to Kingston. Yeah, I'll be in uh, Knoxville probably making a bait run, but we'll see. Hi, Mr. Rogers. It's bound to happen. Hello, Jody Bryan. We caught a 30 pound catfish in there yesterday, right on. We went and got lunch. Permit headed crappy fishing in the AM. All right. That's a good fish, Brian. It is good fish, 30 pounder. That's nice. Hey, everybody, listening and driving or driving and listening. We had a great day yesterday. The best three catfish, 121 pounds. That's a good day right there. 121 pounds for the top three. That's sweet. It'd be nice if I could do that Saturday. That's a great day. Hi, Austin. Don Johnson, Fazizzle's back. Nice job, Brian. Brian, Jody, we caught eight over 20 pounds. That's sweet. We'll be fighting the wind Saturday for sure. All right, eight over 20 pounds. That's a, that's a dang good day. John's breaking out the plan, planner boards. He's making a plan. Going from one side to the other, get right to the other side out. As we're heading into the dock over there in front of us, no. <laughs> All right. Got 124 people in here. Huh. No, I'm kidding. Oh, I know, but you got like you 24, 24 people. Woohoo, Brian! That's great. That is a great day. Noah Holland. Okay. Jody, you can come 
up with me and oh, we, you could come bump with me and fizzizzles. Do the bump, baby. Gonna be hard to bump in 10K of water there, Bobcat. That was then. Saturday is another story. That's true. You never know. One day's on, one day's off. Jody is probably a natural bouncer, a bumper. No. Shut up, James, because I told him good. It is 10K starting tonight. Ten K for Bobby. Uh, John's starting to get stuff mixed up now. The boat's turning hard the other way. <laughs> that little gust of wind. Your boat's like mine. It's like a sailboat. I can't believe you have to fly solo tonight, Jody. Gee, I'm sure she ain't going to fish solo, so stop. 10K watts. 10K talking current, what they're running through the dam starting tonight or this afternoon. So Bobby can't be bumping. It's okay, Mid-South. I'm used to it. Sniff. Yeah, yeah. You fish alone all the time, Jody. Poor little Jody. Oh, he's got a fish alone. <sighs> See, she don't have to take into account that I'm fishing all day. Then she's going to want to fish all night. Then I got to drive all over the place Friday. And then I got to fish Friday night until 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. And then get up and be out there Saturday by 9. So, yeah, I get about an hour's worth of sleep on the weekends. Bobcat can still bump. He just needs to use a cinder block as his weight. Yeah, Ted Case, nothing. You could use a split shot. <laughs> Probably free, yeah, free. He need he needs like probably 20, 30, 40 k is probably good. He probably doesn't want much more than forty k though. No, no, Brandon was saying they were catching some big ones at sixty. Yeah, 50, 50, 60. Well, you're the drag in the bottom of that one's getting a bite right in front of you. The rod is straight back. Dragon. Almost look like a bite. It's muddy back here, so it could wait. You know what I, mean? I don't know. I'm looking very bitey. Get your shirt caught in the reel. I could bump at 10K. It's just ain't ideal. What's your ideal? 20 to 30 or 20 to 40? Yeah, all night long. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, Bobby. Oh, there it goes. <clears throat> hey, Bobby. Bobby, thirty to forty. Yep, that's what I thought. And what's it supposed to be? I think it's 10K starting this afternoon or this evening through the weekend. A new voicemail. Uh-oh. 
He's, he's almost set. Yeah, well, until we make this turn, we are. Set. Once we get straight, I'll uh, put two more out. All right. I need to just run uh, the four planer boards and then one of ones, two straight off the back. I usually run six. That's how I used to do it. But since Brandon grabbed me two more planer boards at CatCon because I wanted to learn how to run all six on boards and just one out the back. Ah, okay. That's like a lot of work. I mean, when I look back through videos, we get fish on the ones out the back, but most of them come come off the board. They're in six inches of water. <laughs> look what's that big hump in there. Not so that... remember I told you it's got issues? Oh, it's yeah. It's oh, okay. We're in 12. I got you. That's what I'm saying. What is that mark? That mark is fish. Oh, okay. It just looks so ginormous in your one display. Bobby Cat, Bobby Bald Cat, at your age, I'm surprised you still bumping them old bones. Can't even read it. Old bones, tear easy. Nope, I don't fuss. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jody, she never fusses. Uh -huh. No, not her. Uh -uh. They must never have seen you two on live stream before. <laughs> Problem is, oh, 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 oh. Just, no, just, don't do that. Don't I do that without out. telling me. I okay, I see it taking off. I'm thinking, uh oh. Uncle Baldy, and you ain't no spring rooster. Bubbles, be nice. Mima will get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've done a factory reset. There's no update to it. But and you, you, reason, you can't screen. You can't get that done Zoom. I just did, but it'll it'll freak out and start acting like somebody's touching the touch screen again here pretty soon. All right. We're coming around the bend, folks. This is where the magic happens. Jody, after James fishes all day, you should cook him a nice dinner. Yeah, I really don't like that Mid-South guy. Believe me, Mid South. She would if I if if I let her. <laughs> My house is a disaster right now. Anyway, is your fish finder on its own battery? Yes. Yes, he says. Excellent idea, Mid South. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My trolling motor is independent. Both my depth finders are independent. I mean, they're on the same. All right. Depth finders are on the same, but. Well, I guess they're not independent. They also have to carry the lights. Yeah, that's what I got on mine. I got the lights. I got the lights, my depth finder all run, and my diesel heater all run off the trolling batteries. Because you figure I got three of them. There you go. Holy cow. That's a good takedown right there. Get him, John. That's a that that right there. That's a big fish there. That's a big fish right here, people. People, that's a big, big fish. Man, that thing got nailed though. That's that fish you marked. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to get the net, huh? Oh, oh John, let him go. Oh man. That was over 20, though, right? I was on that skipjack head. Man, that's that's got gar on it all day long, huh?
Man, what's up with that? He needs some uh the agony. That's a big fish, guys. That's a big, big fish. That's what happened. I was making fun of the of Daryl. Yep, and, and the, the fish God and the fish said, gods punch you. Fish god said, okay, here you go. How you like me now? They were a Toby Keith song. Yep. You could recalibrate your touch screen. I Brian that. Ward. He's done that, he says. Yeah, I, I love a good nap myself. That's a big fish. Well, we wouldn't we don't really know because John was doing the catch and release, but you're supposed to get him up on the boat first or sorry, at least see uh, him. Sorry, stream. Sorry, yeah. chat. That's all right, it happens. Oh, John, that was a big fish, says Bobby. A skull rushes in the house. That's one of them 200-pound Daryl fish there. Boy, every time that happens, you just lose a little piece of your soul. You're not wrong. <laughs> what do you think? Give me a guess. How big a fish? 20? Oh yeah, had to, had to at least be a twelve. That's what I was thinking. I'm thinking twenty. Yeah, that's a good takedown. No, I was trying to calculate that hit when we I dropped my speed down to point three. Yeah, I, you know, I'm, when I drag, honestly, I, I think everything I catch is in the point six point seven. When I go slower, my boat just it's getting blown and drifts all over the place. Well, that was exciting anyway. And we meet, we marked three or four pretty decent looking. Yeah. Right in this general area, even on side scan, I picked up some stuff that was sitting out there. I was kind of waiting on the blue board to get over there, hoping that blue board might get hit. Yeah, that's good. That's a good sign. There it goes again. That's a fish, too. There's somebody messing with it. He's going to try to redeem himself. That is that huge uh, shad head. Yeah. I thought it was a skipjack head, but that's... Oh, wait. No, you're right. That is the skip. That was. I remember now. Cover up my bait with a wet towel so it doesn't. Dry yep, out. so it don't dry out. Keep the flies off it. So you usually do point three? Um, no. I play. Hey, welcome, Rob Fox. I go up and down. Like as we were coming through the turn, um, we were actually going point seven because of the wind blowing and everything. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to slow it down a little bit. But yep. last year, most of my good fish came on between 0.5 and 0.9. Yep. Um, but I've caught fish going 1.1 because I let the trolling motor get away from me one time. I wasn't paying attention. Yep. And we ended up with a fish and I glanced down. I said 1.1. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you go that slow, though. The planner boards don't really get the plane. No, not point one, one point. Oh, one point. Well, you're flying then. That's what I was saying. I was yep. amazingly shocked. Look at that. More, I mean, he's marking some monsters. Some monsters. No, he's getting, look at me. He's getting excited. We're going to use a bobtail. Bobtails. I like the big bobtail I got. I, I don't have one yet. He, he, like the Skittles, I guess he keeps telling me he's going to give me one. Yeah. You got to be on his good list. Yeah, I'm not. Rob Fox, hello. How are you? You must be using free, must be using the dried freeze, dry freeze hooks. Oh, now I couldn't tell you.
Man, it's a nice day out here, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I should have used this reel for the one for the south, like you said. <laughs> Five removes of the handle and it's in. Yep. Now that thing does. That thing's got some serious. It's like 38 or 39 inch recovery. That's pretty good we for a turn. Because. <laughs> yeah. Way out there. The red one are way better. Oh, yeah. You're dragging weights, Bobby. Yep, I like the red ones better too. Well, I ain't got my none at AM. See, mine, I took slinky weights. Slinky weights. And um, shrink, and mm. then there's foam in here. No, nah, to keep this top up. Those are the ones I made. Those are your catfish hunter killers. All right, slow down, Wayne. Yeah, that's going to mess you up. Yeah, it's going to push you along. Yeah, you can see how that one board. Jumped. What time are you all getting off the water? And where'd you park? We're at the Chester Frost boat ramp. And we're probably getting off the water at what? 4, 4.30? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, it's got us going pointy right now. Yep. Because of the wind. Yep, that's because of the wind. No, I just, during, during the fall, I was noticing I had to slow down to get the lights I was getting during spring and winter. Early yep. So that's why I started with going. It's all about learning. I'll start out, yeah. I'll start out going like 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Well, I'll get everything out going like 0 0.5, 0 0.7. And then I'll start slowly dropping my speeds and seeing if I yep. get any bites. It's all good. Like there was one. Oh, the board's on there. Yeah. <laughs> We're now running six planter boards and one right off the back. All seven mad cats. All seven cats are mad. Now, I really wish my autopilot worked. That's the whole reason I. What did your autopilot work? It, when I hit for it to follow the tracks that you see that I have yep. done. It will start following it, and then all of a sudden, it'll like make a sharp left turn and turn all the way up in speed. <laughs> so the last year, I've been driving it by by the controller. Is it? I usually just I'll put mine on like north. You know, well, I do north, north but then I have to make slight adjustments because, as you see, the wind yep. has to blow just tight everywhere. Yeah, unless I'm doing, unless I got my trolling motor on like two and a half or three. It's not gonna hold my course, you know. I'll, I'll get blown off course. Like that 51 on Kings came off the rod closest to the boat on the planer board. The 49 pounder came off the rod, the planer board closest to the boat. <laughs> it's yeah. weird. So it's like the boat scares them, and as they run out, they find it. Yeah, could be. Okay, That's I'll meet you at the dam at five o'clock. If you're James if, doesn't have a boat. Yeah, we're in his boat. Hang on, it says okay, I'll meet you at the dam at five o'clock. If you were there and bring bring you some. Oh, he's gonna bring you some uh weights. Oh, Bob's talking to Yeah, me. Bobby Cat. I can't get in there at the parking with my boat, Bob. Not at the dam. 
Oh wait, no, I the first boat ramp. Yeah, I could I could get down there and turn around. Um, I'll just reach out to you once we get closer to getting off the water. Cause... Says, okay, I would meet you at the dam at five o'clock if you were there and bring you some. Yeah, that's what he said. I already read that. All right, so let's back down to point six finally. But yeah, that fish hit around 0. 0.4, 0. 0.5. Like I said, we were going seven and I started dropping my speed. Got three mm. people still in my stream. I appreciate you. Everybody's over chatting with James right now. Okay, how heavy? How if heavy? He is the cool cat. Yep. How heavy do you are your dragon weights you use? So back here, um, I threw on fives, which is realistically too much. As I see, I usually I use like I like sixes. When I'm out when on I'm... the main lake. I use six, seven, eights. Yeah, and they're hard to find seven, sixes That's and eights. Yeah. Like that one first one I had you put on, I think was a seven and a half. Yeah. I, I just want to make sure I'm but on the bottom, you know? I, I hate when they go off the bottom and you're just wasting your time. Well, normally you can tell when they're on the bottom when you get those. That yeah, when they do that little bouncy and stuff. Dance. and Yeah, they're, they're not dancing. They're, they're not on the bottom. But when you're on super muddy bottoms, you can get like we're getting on this middle one where it's yeah. because I think that's the big heavy one. It's grabbing. Okay, it digs in a little bit or a yeah, little resistance. Uh oh. Ah! No, my phone went, uh, went to sleep for After all that time, why would it go to sleep? I believe you want to use the smallest amount of weight you can get by with. With That's for sure bumping. You snag you less. Your, when, well, I have floats on mine, so I don't snag. Yeah, I, I, we got the hooks hooks up off the bottom, so. Plus, yeah, plus those too. Um, no, and I did say I just didn't feel like digging under the heavier ones to grab all the threes I have in there. I, but I have, nah, I have you, I, I, all the way up to eight and a half. I always side on the heavier side when I should probably go with smaller, but I don't now, know. Bumping, yeah, one hundred percent because you're trying to get that float down, but dragging like this yeah if i was in suit if i wasn't in a known bottom i know this bottom it's muddy there's a little structure out in the middle but i've never gotten snagged all the way in it that, so that blue rod looks like it was getting hit that orange your 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 planter board was racing back there a couple times well i am slightly turning this way okay so these boards will want to now it, it looked like it was getting a oh, pool a pool well, I need to top off my tea. He's got to top off his tea. I use big floats too, big floats and little weights, and they never be on the bottom. Brandon and I drag through some unbelievable garbage. I, you know what? I really don't snag up a lot when I'm dragging. To tell you the truth, I don't know. I don't know why. I guess it's good dragging weights, and you get the float, gets the hook up off the bottom. Well, I am going to say this. I'm not going to say the company because I'm just not that person. But there is a very popular brand of dragging weights that I purchased. And when I started using them, I started losing them. So I've kind of gone back to my own until I yeah. take time and add flotation to the top of them, which I will do. <clears throat> All right. So this is what you do in the tournaments? God, how boring. <laughs> What's boring? You're always moving. You're always got something new on your screen. There's a nice something on the bottom. A little something something. Uh, look at all the stuff you got to pay attention to. You know, you one snag and you got to take an hour to get all this stuff back in and get it all straight again. But see, I also, my dragging. I never lost rods, a dragon weight. No, pretty good. The amount of rods I use depends on what I'm dragging through. If I'm dragging through some bad stuff, I'm only going to run four boards. Yeah. 
or I might only run two out the back and two boards and be really tight to it. But if I know that I've got pretty good and clear area like here, yeah. Oh, the wind. Yeah, this wind's going to force me. But during uh, the last, not the last Kings, but the last Kings of last year, when I was dragging, when I could go below 0. 0.5, we yep. were catching fish. But the wind was so bad, most of the time I had to go. Can 0. I get a tambourine for the boat? I don't care. But are you, you gonna better? You better not say that out loud, or somebody else is going to have a tambourine tonight. <laughs> hey, Miss Tambourine Woman. You know, you can't be saying that stuff in chat, Jody, because then you watch. There'll be a tambourine man. Yeah, I'm not sure, Jody. Whatever. She says you're gonna be those little finger clapper things. Yeah, here's where it gets fun when I have to have the trolling motor aid in this way. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it when the boat's tracking like this and you got all right. everything is over here, nothing be nothing off the other side of the boat, stuff behind the boat and then off way off to the right. But it happens. Well, I think I'm good at it because my the belly dancer ever... never whenever i work oh he belly dances whenever he works okay the first time i ever drove the ship in the navy i kind of got yelled at and they're like to keep your head and with this much wind you have to be actually five degrees further this way yeah yeah so i mean learning that kind of stuff definitely i think helps with the dragon thing sometimes yeah it definitely helps when you try to put a have... boat on a trailer in the wind People don't realize you got to come in like they're like, oh, he's never going to make it. And then at the last yeah. minute, you the stretch out over here. And you yep. start in over here. Yep. Especially the below Watts Bar Dam, that boat ramp is right there on the bed on the outside bend in the current. People have the hardest time getting on there. Yeah, I knew. So it's going to be fun. I like the wind yeah. coming in. You know, I thought I was going to drag straight through, but I think I'm going to turn it. I think I'm going to turn it. You got to go, that's not a fish. <laughs> broke my neck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I cracked myself up. Especially look at Mr. Bass boat coming back out. What a jerk. He's wake washing us here and now he's about to come do it again. Yep. A double wake wash right on, dude. Now let's go by that guy again. Hey, look, that's a good sign. The duck right there. Thanks. Appreciate it. Inconsiderate people. 15 minute break. How many fish you got? We got uh the one. The one stand fish, 22.2 pounds. And I missed two really nice ones. And well, I wasn't gonna bring that up again. I didn't want to, you know, stick that knife in you and just make you relive the nightmare of yours well, trying to reel on the fish. Didn't get up. The second, the second one, one like, yeah, that I don't know what happened there. I wasn't gonna say anything. It's okay though. I mean, Sorry. it was in its mouth, like know, you yeah. said, Gar. I mean, I yeah, wouldn't think maybe. Gar. Yeah. Well, I hope that guy goes by two or three more times. 
Oh my God! Is this him turned around coming back again? It is. Do you know him? It's got to no, be somebody messing with somebody. you. It is him, and he's coming by again. What the heck is that? Is it the same guy? Maybe somebody was in his spot. Yeah, but he's way over there. He's not coming this way. Until the last minute. Oh, dude, if he makes it yet, I swear, you better mute it because I'm cussing. <laughs> I'm cussing and a fussing. You're tracking a little sideways here. Tracking very sideways. One fish way. beats the hell out of my last trip, so proud of you fellers. Yeah, I hear you. I've had a few trips where uh, it's been less than one fish. Jody wouldn't have missed those fish, just saying. I remember. Oh, that's fish in the mid south sucking up. Okay, he's still going. I yeah. thought I saw him turn. I swear. <laughs> it looked like he was turning around, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. He's over there. He's in, gonna, he's in that danger area, though. That's real shallow over there. Oh, my goodness. That's when we need to he did do it. He did turn around, but. Maybe he's out test driving. I don't know. He's out there going around in circles. Brian B, don't mute. I want to hear it all. <laughs> Me, suck up. I'm a troll. <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Fish in the mid south. Says uh, Rebel River Cats. There's Don Johnson. And Jody wouldn't have missed those cans. <laughs> I just can't get over how many people are out here fishing. There's like a million boats out here. Yep. The stands never have to deal with this. That's why there's been a couple times I'll just go fish the river. Yeah. It's because I don't want to deal. Like if the current's super low on the river, I know spots I can drag on the river. Yeah. Yeah, if it's under 11. Here I... comes your buddy. Uh, he doesn't have the two talons on the back. Okay. Talons. Bob sent somebody else over here to mess with us. Time three o'clock. They're dragging back there, huh? I don't have crackheads zipping, zipping in and out. Not the one straight off the back, but your blue one. Yeah, it'll come back out once we make this turn. Nah, I mean it was it was it was bebop and like somebody was playing with it. I mean, maybe a channel, but that's not what we're looking for anyway. You know what I mean? I have fish is a fish. A fish is a fish. A fish. I mean, a fish. A fish. I wish I had a fish. A fish. A fish. Oh. I'd like that goblin to get broken. in. Dang it. <sighs> The goblin. Every rod up there has caught something over 30, except the goblin hadn't caught anything yet. Man, look at all these houses. They're just all like. There's not one house around here that looks like it's, you know, even remotely run down. So there used to be kind of this old POS house that's set right there. Yeah, they tore it down and put that one up. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that was cheap. Dude, it's 350 for like a quarter acres on the water now, especially deep water. Yeah, I don't know. I could see the water. I'm not on the water. Well, I mean, if I had my boat in the water, you know, in its own dock, I want to make sure I have deep year round. Yeah. Don Johnson, hello. Danny Stone. Rebel, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Danny Stone back in the house on his break. I'm still here, four of you. Hello, hello. Nobody's chatting that I've seen. Unless my That's because you don't out. read it, because you don't read it. That's why they're not chatting. No, I just got everybody popping in and out, and they all got to do their hellos. 
hello, 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 hello. And then you got Brian B, that dork with his dumb, lame kindergarten tournaments. They're going to play Uno and we're going to go this and you could win my tournament. You could win drama. my tournament without even catching a fish. Don't start drama. Don't get paid. <laughs> I'm just saying it because he's in here. <laughs> got to pick on Brian. Somebody's got to pick on him. Ba -ba bubble, ba bubbles. I always pick on him about that dorky little white hat he wears. But I can't knock Brian because I, I won a lot of his tournaments. <laughs> I did good in all his tournaments last year. Yeah, so did I. Keep it and toss it. And uh... yeah, I think I ended up. I think I won both those. Oh, did he have two keep it and toss it? Well, he had the the one that where you were uh, the surprise. Oh, the where, surprise. Party. It was a keep it and toss it type tournament. Oh, yeah, we stuck and me and Big Mike smoked that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, and Daryl. Daryl was there. Got to give Daryl his dues, because if you don't, you never get. To, you're going to pay a heavy price. I hope the Uno winner catches nothing. I'm sure he probably will. Brian, that would be funny, Brandon. It it probably happen. It'll be John with his skunk, and I'll catch a big fish, and he'll get it. Wait, can I just wait? So wait, you're saying I could sign up for this, sit at home and stream him on my couch and still win? No, I think you got to at least be out on the water. Got to at least be out in the water and have rods in. I thought you wanted to go that way over there. I'm getting to it. Oh, OK. Just I was trying to adjust for this wind. So part of me was thinking of go ahead and going into the wind. Or well, you could just green screen like like uh, Brian does when he says he goes out fishing. He just runs a green screen and sits at home. Tries to convince everybody he's out fishing. He's got a good video guy, though. I mean, it looks pretty realistic. Wow, that was for sure after that first big hit and everything you've seen. Yep. Be hooking up back here. Uh, yep. You just never know. John, if you would switch and try the executioner hooks, you wouldn't lose any of those fish, which is no doubt, because you pretty much got to cut them things out of a fish's mouth to get them out. You hook a fish, and he pretty much is going to die with you trying to get that hook out of his mouth. I'm serious. Every 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 one of those, I got to get pliers out, and I like got my two feet on his head, and you're like, ah. Since I've started using the ones I use now, I've had those issues too, where it's like pliers on every one. I can't pop them out like I used to be able to. Yep, Jody, don't talk about those hooks on James's channel. He doesn't support those hooks. What are you talking about? It's on most of my rods. I'm a Mustat Demon Fine Wire guy myself, but. Jody Fish is on my boat. Jody's got sponsors, so. The Uno tournament is when James will catch his 90. Yep, he owes me. And it will go to somebody else. Yep, no doubt. Yeah, I'm sure, still, Danny. It, it still I'll still take that 90, for, though. It still counts for you for that big fish for the. Uh, yeah, that's true. 2000. That's true. That, 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 I'm, I'm, if I could win that alone, I, I'd be good. Yeah, that would definitely help offset some costs. Hopefully, I won't get fizzled this year. A little backstabber. Jody knows what I'm talking about. Jody knows what I'm talking about. Y'all should try new Bobcat Claws hooks. I'm fixing to start selling them. Didn't know you were. Didn't know you had them, Bobcat. The Bobby hooks, Bobby pins. <laughs> what are you gonna call them? The Bobby <laughs> pins. I love it. Let me get a dozen Bobby pins off you, size ten. <laughs> I'm importing them from Poland. There you go.
Yeah, because it gets really wide here, I kind of dip down into the mouth. Of he's it. dipping down into the mouth here. I'm gonna turn him back to go up there. And he's going to turn back to go back up in there. I would have never thought of dragging through here, to tell you the truth. Look at yeah, look at all them sturgeon. Something. Something big. Let's just hope it's eaten. You got your duck following you. That's always good luck. I'm telling you, every time I get a duck that's fishing with me, I always do good. Come on, ducky. Yep. I'm going to chase some fish right over to your bait. Everybody's importing their theirs from China. I want to be different. That's it, Bob. That's what you got to be a little different. Where yours come Team, from? my bad dude is fishing the tournament pay lake for the league. Yeah. Don't get me started. You actually cut my hooks off and tied different ones on your hooks up. Rotation has what the heck is she talking about? I haven't cut anything off. The hook has hook up ratio has suffered from it. Yeah, we haven't had any bites. What kind of hook up ratio you want off that? And we've had a couple bites. Hey, what's up, Quiet Man Curtis? Jody dreams fishing stuff all the time, and I get in trouble for doing stuff that she's dreaming. It doesn't even happen, and she thinks it happened. <laughs> team, my bad, dude, will be the most hated team up in the live fishing league this year. Yeah, I guess every time they, they catch a big fish, they're going to be like, my bad, dude. <laughs> Like that wasn't, you know, Cootie, advertised. Hi, Cootie C Curtis, says Jody. Who's going to be Bobcat and uh, Brandon? My bad, dude. Yeah, I mean, that's the name of their team. Oh. I'm really shocked he didn't try to name it point one. Yeah, <laughs> so am I. Just a mess. Yeah, just a mess. They need to be called Team 10,000 Miles because Cootie, no Jody, 10, yeah. miles to yeah. fish. You'd be fishing in like uh, some Pay Lake in California. I need a teammate <laughs> for when I fish below the dam. I know you're working, baby. I might have nightmares about that takedown. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Oh, yeah. I need a team. Oh, that's Jody. Jody needs a teammate for when she fishes below the dam. Dude, we had that one night. She needs a teammate for Kingston. You remember Jody had that one night where she was losing all the fish and everybody was joking about rubber hooks. Yeah. And then Brandon and I went out dragging and we had that same problem that one night. Everything for the longest time would take it and run with it, but it wouldn't hook up. Crazy. It's like they just grab it in their mouth and yep. not all the way in the mouth, just in the tooth patch. And that's that's why. Yep, Jody's taking applications for a for a fishing partner for below the dam. Dana might fish it with her. Because there's been a couple, she was like, why are we fishing this? Why aren't we fishing this? Because you're a fair weather, like you're finesse. a fair weather fish. No, like the finesse one. I don't want to have to undo all my, all my line. Yeah. I'm not going to go fish with a bluegill rod. That's another That's one I'm not fishing. I have two pound test on. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not I'm fishing not that one either. I'm undoing all my, my reels. Because even my bait reels have bigger lines. Skip here yep. and break, you know. So That's kind of why I just don't feel like having to re-rig everything. There you go. There you go. There you go. Patriot rod. No, it was definitely getting a hit. 
it was like bonk, bonk, bonk. Most definitely getting a hit. And it's getting ready to go. Watch it, watch it. Come on, fish. Come back and get it. Turning. That should be going a little faster. I'm thinking I might bump my speed up a little. Go ahead and do that. Go set. That's the other reason I try to zigzag a bit. Is He's zigzagging. Because when you're zigzagging, if you're turning, and let's say you get hit on the side that's pulling out quicker, then you know you need to bump your speed up. Yeah. You get hit on the slower one. So, yeah, the zigzag something I kind of – and I will say, that is not from, from Catfish Hunters TV. That is from Slugger Cat Outdoors. Slugger, Slugger Cat Outdoor. Chris, uh, Chris, Chris Outdoors. Sauters, yeah. yeah. He is the one who talks about dragging and doing that zigzag. Now, where'd that fish go? It was on that back one. Oh, no, I'd like it to come back. Should have a video coming out next week. I'm going to take a, as long as the weather looks okay like it has been, I should be doing a veteran trip next week. I always zigzag, try and... I, I always zigzag when I'm trying to go straight. That's for Zizzle. Because you don't pay attention. We've heard about... Zigzag on the rig rod. Rag. Branded Dragon. Branded Dragon at style. I'm former military. When we hear gunshots, we zigzag. Yeah. Come on, take it. Okay. Eat it now. Feed me now, Seymour. 40 feet, one minute, 14 next. Yeah, 40 feet, one minute, 14 foot the next. Can't switch teams. Once it. you're on a team, you stay on the team. Right, Brian? Yeah, well, I didn't say anything about that. I think he was talking about when I said Dana could fish with with uh, with her with Jody. Yep. But see, I've never I no haven't named hopping. my three I haven't named my three people. For yeah, me. but no team hopping. She's saying that'd make her a hopper. <laughs> but I mean, I have a couple different Jodies. I'm only naming two people that's on my team, and that's me and her, because there's tournaments she's not going to fish with me, so I'm gonna have a Joey. Yeah, and there's tournaments that her son will be here over the summer, and he's going to fish with us. But I don't want to name him as my third, and then shut off the need need of a Joey. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, now it's just me and her, but I'm know, fishing it's... solo, baby. That way, I got nobody to blame but myself. And I'm not carrying. I'm not carrying. And I'm not carrying somebody around. I want to know what the exact back backroom deal was made between Bobcat and Fish Shizzle for Brandon to not fish Kings and Bob to not fish the live fishing tournament league, but to be Brandon's. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure there's money involved. You know that diamond Brandon for Sizzle. Speaking of Fazizzle, there he is. Give Bob his boat. We need a third for team my bad dude. Travel required. What's that one doing right there? You I see that it. orange one? You see that? That was a bite. That's out of head. There goes that one. That might be a snag because it's kind of slow. I don't know. If there if it's a slow, steady pace, it's yep. almost always a snag. Right, but it was it was kind of there. There you go. Nope. He had to be dragging over something because they're all kind of busted. Yeah, there's an old bridge here. You see it on the depth finder? Right there, that little a, com box. a committee will be formed. Inquiries will be made. Travel required. Yep. The application is six pages long. You got to press hard to get through all six copies. 
three by five semi glossies portrait picture will be taken. But yes, it's very snaggy. Right? Questions will be asked. There will be a test. You got to learn the heat secret, uh, secret handshake. Yep. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, you got to have the know the fizzle Bobcat Bobby secret handshake. I'm shocked that Brandon took Daryl fishing for bait because I, I I know that's one of the stipulations is don't tell anybody where the bait is no more. Yeah, he told me not to tell anybody, and then he told everybody. <laughs> and then he took the mouth of the south. Oh, wait, no, that's Jimmy Horton wrestling. Yeah, Jimmy Horton wrestling. All right, like so I said, they'll be running up at Watts Bar here soon. Two boards, the yellow and the black, yep. might start making hops back. They are now. Because we're getting ready to yep. come across a shallow point. Yep. I see them. They're all jumping. There are secrets between us. Dale Hayslip, any fish caught? Yeah, we caught a 22.2 pound blue, and uh, John's let two go. <laughs> Maybe. No, I, I lost it. There are secrets between us. Oh, God, I got the yard, boy. Woo. Need some oxygen. There are always secrets, Bob. B. Bob B. Ba. It's Ba B cat. Bobby cat. Bobby cat. Bobby cat. Da, 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 Bob. Bobby Izzle, Bobby is a Bob, Bobby, Bob, Bob Zizzle or Fizz Obby. Well, that's why they came up with I'm sure Team No Bad was so they fished under a new, a new, a whole new title. Yeah. Us natives okay, have us sick, I have to stick together. That's just going to give us more gear to wear, you know. Because you know they're going to have to get some hats and, and shirts. See, when I'm coming in and out of here, I hate people like you because you got your boards on. You can't even get by them. You can get by. Just run really shallow. Should I get an iPhone or a Samson to YouTube with? I don't know. It's all, all personal preference. My phone is shot. Your phone's shot that you've had for two months? She bought two new phones, and they're both not worth a crap. Ain't supposed to be like that about the bait share information with you fellas. Cat fishermen, not bass fishermen. Yep, supposed to supposed to share. Sharon's Karen. No, Karen's bitchy. <laughs> Sharon's awesome. Yep, Sharon's <laughs> awesome. Karen's a nope, Sharon is Karen. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, at least we put you on a fish, I guess. Yeah. I Hang got on. To feel I've given you a couple of chances. You'll get one before we get back to the dock. Dude, I can't believe we didn't hook up over at the wall. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, there's two, there's three people over there already fishing, really, though. Parents are not cool. Gosh. I mean, if you need to go down there, there is a cabin. No, I'm place. fine. I just, just my nap, my you, nappy time. Carol told me you had a bed in your boat, so. Nappy time. <laughs> Wait there for a second. Piece of water. Oh. 
Good old water. That's what we need. <laughs> yeah, give me up two hours. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh I forgot. I got. What am I looking for? That'll work. You know, that'll wake him up. Hold on. Now I eat my sandwich. Oh. Good old nasty McDonald's. Oh, oh no, it's Hardy. I forgot. Boy, Hardy's got a good breakfast biscuit. That uh, pork chop with the gravy on it. Oh, Heart attack that's a little that's a little heavy in the morning, but I, I suffered through it. Jody showed me those with a heart attack and a heart attack meal for breakfast. Pork chop smothering gravy Sorry, on a biscuit. Meal. On a biscuit. Dale hit Aesop says Android phone, Jody. The Zizzle says, whoop. I don't know, man. Those the front cameras on the iPhone. Uh, 13 and or wait, 14 and 15 have some amazing night vision on them. Whoop. Still marking all sorts of fish. You think you would hook one? Marking a ton. I hate that's why I hate marking fish. I hate that. I thought the iPhone 2, I can't keep the Air, Air, AirPods in my ears. Don't get the-, the Don't Apple get AirPods. Ones. You could buy any, any, anything will work. Doesn't it? It's just Bluetooth, right? So you could use any earbuds. Yep. I know when it gets t-shirt weather around here, I'm gonna be dragging boards on the mud flats in the shallow waters. Now the- now the uh, the Beats are also made by Apple now. Yeah. Um, Apple bought Beats from Dre, so Got for billions of dollars. So those have a softer earpiece, so they might stay in the ear better. Is kind of what I was getting at. Brandon says moo. Now I guess he's on his farm. Oh no, Bobcat said moo. You were trying to say moo. M O M O O O O O O O O. Now he's marking all sorts of fish. There's her here. I mean, we have fresh shad. What the problem is, is he hadn't used the white bass he has. <laughs> So it's fighting the wind. It's no fight, the wind's winning. <laughs> when do they when do they uh, get get away from winter pool? When do they start bring bringing the lakes back up? Soon. I Is think it... it's the beginning of the month. Beginning of uh April? April yeah. Jig takes longer to fill is the like the longest man. Watts bar fills quick. <laughs> at least when you look at their little projection guide. Yeah. 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 And the only reason why they fill them is just for the boaters and stuff, right?
I mean, I'm sure that's part of why they chose. I mean, they they want to keep them low because in the case of the rains and yeah. stuff. He's making a turn. Trying to. <laughs> this wind is like not allowing it very easily. Bob Cup says April May if. Yeah, it takes like two months to fill ours. The zizzle. Why did the chicken cross the road? My bad, dude. Bop, 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 says Jody. Bobcat says, why aren't you catching him? He's not really trying. Not, well, hold, not holding his mouth right. right. No pair Bear hooks out. Oh, ain't got no paid on it. Ain't got no paid on it. Ain't catching him like that. Fizzle says, needed bait. Man, he got the boat. He's got the boat going on all sideways now. The planter boards on the left are right behind the boat. Yeah. He got no idea what he's doing. None. <laughs> the wind's got us going. This like, isn't a tournament. Out. You can go ahead and catch fish. <laughs> Who said that? I don't know. I just said it. Oh, you. Oh, God. That's what we said it. Up. No, that was me. No, it's hey, in a tournament. Like dang it. Yeah, like I said, it was that beginner's luck is all you had. You came in here like a like a like a big ball of fire, and then you burned right out. Yeah. Burned out. Yeah, you're a thing of the past. You won the two, the first two uh, Jody Friday night fishing things that you were on, and you just thought, "Bam, I am the man." I told him, "Ah, that beginner's luck's over," and then, "Bam," you just crashed and burned. Yeah, we won. Hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> we won Kings. Fish Jody's tournament came in second. Fish Jody's tournament came in first. Yeah, that's that. That was your uh, beginner's luck, and then fished another Jody's tournament. I think finished first with yeah. fish with Brandon, and then you started talking smack. Um, and then we you fished, crashed and burned. We fished Brian B's uh, Whisker Cup and won. Thank you very much. Still uh, in your beginner's luck window. We, and now look at you. We fished. We fished the Monster Cat tournament and. We led week one, and now you're. But week two killed us. <laughs> you just washed up. No, I, I my water temperatures need to be between sixty one degrees and eighty degrees, apparently. Now David Hughes knows I'm live, and he's texting me. I slapped the heck out of him. He's texting you saying, tell that fool to catch a damn fish. He's saying, have you caught any fish? He knows if I'm live and you're not enough. This guy's got a choice. We're going to go that way. He's going, what a jerk off going through the I channel with a. Come over here. Load my boat that way. Look at this. Hey, over here. Look at them marks. Look at them fish. Dude, we see nothing. That's all we've seen all day. They're carp. We've seen lots of good marks. I reckon you need bait on the <laughs> on the hooks to catch them fish. Uh huh. Uh huh. Swing blade person. I I, I reckon you need the bite on the on the hook. Guy, here we go. You beat a guy with a. You beat a guy with a clogged up heart valve. I mean, he wasn't the only one fishing. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't even in that tournament. I hate to be this way, Jody. We never, you never answered why the fish crossed the road there, girl. Brandon led the thing most of the day. Here we go. That's so last year. What have you done lately? <laughs> right, that nothing. I know. 
He stopped fishing in the winter altogether. He just gave up. He's like, I'll forget it. I can't find the fish. No. I'm... Meanwhile, all of us veterans are out there sticking it out, trying to catch fish. Oh, I got to do the maintenance on my boat. I got I got I'm changing the oil in my my go kart. I got I got a my 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 Cox car is uh I got to uh, balance the tires on it. I got a Yeah, uh, boy, that li that list of excuses was huge. This guy just car drives in front of it. Did he? Oh yeah, are you dragging on? Let me let me block you off. Oh, he did. Got pulled right out in front of us and he's 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 spot locked. <laughs> Get to be maneuvering around him, won't you? Maybe he'll put you on I fish really, if he takes you I off really your track. Right That's where the fish are at. Super shallow, says Jody. It was a tragic boating accident. Bobcat says excuses, excuses. No, no, it was just it was it was the beginner's luck, and then he then he did the ultimate in sad. He went and brought the kid out so he could have the kid luck. Brought the kid out. That's when he won another one because he had the so kid with him. I, you know, that that's Hi, just, that's, 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 sorry, cheap. I wasn't reading chat. because Oh, you know, Daryl. Busting my balls. <laughs> Hello. Daryl's on his live. No, I'm sure he's not. Yeah, he probably is. I wasn't reading chat. He's like, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, so he brought the kid out to so see if he could win a tournament on the kid luck. No, I was like, ah, what, that, that's cheesy. I go, look, he's about to. Oh, there we go. There's a fish on, fish on, fish on. Let's see if he can get this one in the boat. And once again, it looks to be a decent fish that he's going to let go. Oh, my God. That's it. I'm not letting you tell. He's still there. He's still yeah, there. He's he was just, it's a big fish, so he's swimming towards the boat. Look at this action shot. Look at this action shot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to get the net here sooner or later. Well, he hadn't got him to the boat yet. He used, this is about the area where he lets him go. <laughs> He's trying to get his remote out of his pocket so he can get spot locked in front of us. Oh, this is exciting. If you ask me, this is exciting. He's going to, oh, it looks like a good fish. I bet you he could lose it before it gets here. We're getting wake washed too. Now that what's Daryl say? Now that 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 right there, that's a big that's a big fish. Oh, he just he just ran it into the other line, get a little tangled up. I gotta put the phone down. You guys are gonna have to wait because I gotta get the I gotta get the, the net for him. I'll get the net, I'll get the net. Oh, he's still looking at the motor. There he is, caught him right in here in the shallows almost. Let me get the net, the fish is up. Good looking fish. Let me see if I can let me see if I can knock him off with the net. Okay, Daryl. That's a plenty fish, plenty good fish. No, I just know that. Boy, he's a, he's a fighter. Daryl say he's in the net. That guy can scoop. Boy, that boy's a scooper right there. Look at this, you sap. How how lame! You're gonna put your GoPro on there to try to. Oh, I got the scoop with the fish angle. Come on, dude. I haven't done it yet. I thought about it, but that's no. a 20, 20. Look at how small that bait is. That's a twenty-two point two pound fish. That again. might be. Trying to look over here, make sure we're lined up. Oh, what was that? I should have reeled in. Oh no, but I, you got to let him have one fish a day. That's not a bad fish. No. Let me get my camera up so we get a picture of for you before he drops you. But, you but I'm looking where this hook is. See where I like those hooks. Yeah, coming out. That's good. Yeah, it ain't coming out. And then what'd you do with the other two fish you lost today? Well, it wasn't on this rod. Here we go. Let's go. This rod has the superman. He's swinging it around. Let's get him up here. There you go. Oh, almost a whip to the face. Oh, he's trying to get him. He's that fish is a little on. That's a Jody fish right there. <laughs> two swipes to the head. He tried. He didn't get me, but he was close, man. That's a he's good fish. Spicy you going to weigh that guy? You got to need to weigh that guy. Yeah, will you hand me my scales? No, nobody cares about your phone. Really? No, there's nobody watching you. <laughs> Probably not. On your channel. No, I'm just kidding. We got uh, 22 people still in here with me. There's your scale. You can use a Jaws, jaws of Death to hang him. Yeah, exactly. This is where he lays the camera down, and you miss all the good parts. That's right, because I didn't catch the fish. It's him. Let's go, Brandon. No. 
Bobcat says pooper scooper. What do you got? 22.2. No, 18. 18. Oh, that little guy. Let it. Oh, you need it. There he is. Hey, guess who's in here watching? That's still a fun fish. Tissue seekers outdoors. I mean, trophy seekers outdoors. Oh, it's Daryl. I didn't talk to him in my chat. Because Daryl, because you didn't talk to Daryl in your chat. That's 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 a big fish right there, folks. Eighteen point what? Uh, it was eighteen point four, but the grips. Uh, no, the grips are nothing. The grips ain't nothing. People kill me with the grips. The grips. There he goes. He's got his fish. That fish wants to hurt you. Daryl said, oh, shut up, Daryl. I ain't even going to read that comment. <laughs> John is good because Fizzle already ratted you out and said you wouldn't even leave him any bait. You took every single skipjack that you two caught and you wouldn't let him have anything. Huh? That's what that's what Brandon was saying, that Daryl stole all the bait oh, they Darryl caught. Stole all the bait. Yeah. Daryl was saying I stole No, the no. Daryl did. Daryl, Fazizzle and Daryl went out, caught a whole bunch of bait, and he didn't even let Fazizzle have any. John is up to three people now. And me and... Oh, another, another fish on. Nope, came off. Is he there? You can have him. You go back to back, baby. It's your boat. You're dragging. Get him snagged up in the other line. Is this guy's dinky. He come off? No. He's there. He's small, though. It's tied up in the other line. No, he's trying to hook it up in the other line. I'm going to have to get the net again. Hey, you got to get that fish in. That's your rod. Yeah. You better not lose that fish, dude. Oh, he could bring oh. this one. Oh, it's a Chanel <laughs> cat. A Chanel cat. Bring him in. Hold on. I, get, I need to move away from bro over here. He's got the Chanel cat. That's not the skunk buster. Yeah, that's a skunk buster, though. You, you got the jinx off that rod. Maybe if he gets it in, it's all tangled up in the other one. Look at him dragging them both planer boards in. Oh, he's even got a freckle for you. Oh, he's barely whisker hooked. Is he whisker hooked? Yep. You got to get him in the boat to get Then That jinx is gone. Right on, dude. There you go. See, now this is... Now you're really turning towards, oh, that guy's right there. There you go. I said you went the other way. I am impressed. Tissue seekers outdoors. That's funny. John, don't you even read his chat. John, don't read his chat. I have zero skips, says Fizzizzle, after catching 150 yesterday with Daryl. Chanel cat. Poor Brandon. That's a nice, that's a good look at Chanel, though. That's nice dark, got that green going. On this side, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I figured. This is a Jody spot right here, boy. The, 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 the Dink City. All right, let's go ahead and reel stuff in, James. Bobcat said those are bad luck. I need bait. Would you just sell it, Jody? Daryl. He's probably got like five freezers just full of skipjack. Probably thousands of them. It was like Uno Via. Are we calling it a day? Yeah, it's. I take that good call. Good call. It's eight or three fifty. Yep, and you made your you made your big comeback, and you got two. I only got one. And this tangle I have is going to take probably a good 10-15 minutes. He's got a ten or fifteen minutes tangle to do. Okay, we're taking the weights off. Okay, good. Where's your uh, weights go? Um, in that cabinet, but underneath your water. Oh, no, I see how it is. Put put them underneath my water. No doubt. Get up there. Oh, camera fell. Hang on, folks. Let me get you back up. There you go. Ah, what? Stop hooking yourself. Yeah, right. I mean, I can't hook the fish. Yeah, I can't hook up. You're, You're putting these rods where you could get them torn off by the trees, right? <laughs> no. Actually, I'm not. Well, he made a pretty good day. Sal salvaging the day there right at the end. I'm impressed. Well, at least it was a good day. Heck, you have to water it. It's a good day. Yeah. 
Now, if I drive home real fast, I could maybe get 15 minutes of sleep before Jody gets there and starts yelling about, you never fish with me. Hopefully she's hopefully she's not on her fast broom and flying out. She's on the slow one. I'll get you my pretty and your little dogs too. <laughs> Yeah, it's Thursday. No more sleep from here until Sunday. No sleep. Yeah, that's it. Hey, that was the night. That, that was like the Navy right there. Yeah, <laughs> it is. I'm telling you. Wake up Friday morning and you don't go back to sleep till Sunday about noon. Yep. My other favorite thing about the Navy is you're doing the old. Uh, Oh Lord, just, just let me make it through the morning, please. I'll never drink again. <laughs> yeah. If I could just if I could just make it. Oh I, god, I'm done. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never had those kind of nights yeah. out there. <laughs> if I'm throwing up in places, I'll never visit again. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, I've thrown up in some countries most people have never, never gone to. Yeah, I've never gone to. They never oh. or now what's that what's that place it's all souped up now by rain uh not by rain it's uh dubai you know when we went to dubai the only thing that was out there was a fuel barge there was nothing there look at the amount of slime all the way up this line man that was a good fish you let go Either like oh catch and release thing, you know, you don't want to embarrass them on camera. <laughs> no, I don't. You don't want to get any credit I, I for that. Do you don't want to get any credit for that fish. Yeah, I don't need the praise or anything. No, no, no. That's right. He's just in it for the love, the love of it. What's he doing? I'm gonna reel in this last one. Yeah, that's good. about the only negative about the Friday night. So it's the tournaments, like he said. Yeah, but she don't care. Well, I mean, she's she still Friday night with her till like one, two o'clock in the morning. I don't need no sleep. Yeah, no, I, I need sleep. <laughs> they will get on this one. Then we'll. Which one's uh, sinking the boat? No, where, no. You, where you, uh, you're talking about the release clips. Yeah, no, not the release clip. I'm talking about the, the, these. Oh, I put a clip on there so you, the board ain't going to come off no matter what. Got it. That way you don't lose them, lose them. Oh. But as the relief clips, yeah, I don't know. Ain't got no bait on it. I got my relief clips, I'm telling you. They don't come off for nothing. <laughs> You catch the fish and you're fighting the planer board the whole way in. Cause That's my worry, fighting the planer board. And when you're stopping for that minute to take the planer board off and giving them some slack. Yep. So I worry about. Yep, absolutely right. I worry about that kind of but stuff. I don't know. If they stay just. That guy looks mad. He'll get over and just pull it. Oh, look, he's going to hit the other boat. Oh, that's what you get, dude. That's what you get, Mr. I'm in a hurry to get to the boat ramp. He, look, he cut three people off. What a, what a knob. And the master. Put this rod up there, too. I like the way you were trimming them earlier. Hello, Donald. Howdy. Sorry we were building up. Uh, I'll actually go ahead and end this because we're going to finish playing this game like yep. after sock. And he's only got three people watching. So I'm going to end mine where I got like 40 people watching. And, uh, and we have, uh, let's see, we have about a three second boat ride to the ramp. It's like, all right, Daryl, Daryl's in. Okay, I catch. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I really base, appreciate it. So, King Cat, some off bait. Da, 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 da. All right, everybody, we're out of here. I'm going to wrap this up too. So I appreciate everybody hanging out. Nope, I ain't going to i will never
I will be over later. Well, I don't know what she's talking about. I'm more than capable of fishing Friday night by myself. Why? Why would you? When you could you could torment me and and be be, be yourself. Anyway, okay. Well, anyway, I'm not, we're out of here. I'll be heading home early. So, bye, y'all. And we out of here.